all right hello everyone and happy day of the lord it is sabbath and uh, i hope today we will have a good time together and i hope and we pray that we muslims we will have muslims who call us and give us an answer finally uh you know one of the funny things about islam that the muslim they brag too much about their god who they call him allah and if you go on youtube and you watch every single video made by muslims about allah you will find that after watching the video you are more confused from before watching the video not a single muslim knows he is worshiping who or what you know <clears throat> that there's a god his name is allah i wish i can play for you some videos so we can die laughing together <clears throat> Especially at those American convert like Yusuf State, uh, when he tried to explain his new God, Allah, you will really, you will have diarrhea literally when you are listening to those Muslims. Now my Skype is open, and I hope that we will have a Muslim, whoever he is, he's is a scholar, he is old, he is young, it doesn't matter, will call me and tell me who is Allah. They don't know it's hard to believe that all those people they are going their down their ass down every day bend over bent up bend over bent up bent over bent up but they do not know who is Allah and be my witness if it's hard to believe here we go we are live on air and we will be happy to take any call from any Muslim who would like to explain to us who is Allah Hello? Hi. Hi, Christian friends. How are you? I'm fine. Do you hear me? I think you don't. Hold on. All right. Do you hear me, my friend? Uh, here. How are you? I'm all right. So nice, nice. Uh, before you start your topic, I thought that I want to call you uh, and ask a few questions about Christianity. Okay. It's okay for you? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Okay, so um, you know that I left Islam, although we have spoken a few times in the past. All right. Uh, I'm the guy from Germany. I understand. Who, uh, yeah, who left Islam. So my um, uh, English is not so good. But uh, since I left Islam, I make some um, thoughts about uh, Christianity. <clears throat> so because in now there are two options for me. Also, I've, I'm searching the truth. You know what I mean? I understand. Uh, yeah, and uh, I hope that you can help me if, um, also to get uh, rescued my soul. Uh, so um, <clears throat> I want to tell you why I left Islam. Which, also, um, I just I I speak yes, and you listen. Yeah. Maybe then uh, ca I can ask. Um, yes. So I left Islam bec uh, because of rationality, uh, because the Quran uh, explains that it's a word of god but uh, so it can it could not be that there are uh, um, contradictions errors and science historical errors absurdities and copies from other religions like pagans and tales and christianity jews that are um, <clears throat> for me the way to prove whether islam is right or not and and i have seen that islam is not right it's not true so I want to know what is the way uh, of proof for Christ. Um, yeah, can you? Because I don't want to judge um, <coughs> Christianity like Islam with the uh, same um, criteria. So I want to ask ask someone who is um, a, uh, who is uh, uh, with Christ. What are the? So how can I find uh, the truth? All right. Well, you know, the, the, the thing the unique about Christ is that yes. maybe we don't see him right now, but the second you accept him in your life and you are decent about accepting, it's just not like a guy you want to say, I'm a Christian, you will see a huge mm -hmm. change in mm -hmm. your life. You will be a different person. And here, the different person will, will, you will be noticeable to the point, even if you are a violent man, a criminal, yeah. you will turn to be very peaceful, very loving. You see, when somebody mm -hmm. converts to Islam, as an example, if he was peaceful all his life, 
and mm -hmm. the second he converted to Islam he turned to be an evil man he want to kill people around him he hate his yeah. family in Christianity it is the opposite mm -hmm. and here we find that there is a real spirit and this is a spirit spirit of love so there's yeah. for sure the Lord himself he he will he will like he will prove himself to you and this is mm -hmm. something you cannot experience unless you became a believer so uh -huh. it, but in your case you are asking how I can be a believer before experience those things right so how yes. I, how I want to believe but I did not see I did not uh, uh, I did not hold uh, something in, in my hand <clears throat> yeah. uh, I, I believe the best way to know is yeah. first to study the Bible the, the four gospel of Jesus and mm -hmm. uh, you know try to in, to try to ex, you know like uh, explore the teaching of Christ what what he is about what kind mm -hmm. of decency he have what is kind of uh, ethic he have what kind if everything he have is something match in what you are looking for then mm -hmm. then it's possible for you to, to believe in him but yet that mm -hmm. will not be enough then you are going to ask you are going to, you know for me you have mm -hmm. to pray to the Lord himself and say reveal yourself for me let me let me know that you are uh, you know make me really think of you and accept you can you do that you are yeah. a true God you, put it good? You, you, you know there's there is a uh, tons of stories of people who they did that and the and the, mm -hmm. and the Lord he speak to them and the Lord he he give them a sign he give them a way uh, mm -hmm. uh, to, to lead them uh, to his direction mm -hmm. so um, uh, it's not also I uh, um, the thing is so I cannot uh, search for contradictions or when I also uh, when I study the Bible I mm -hmm. guess that I will find contradictions too or error in science mathematical errors explain me why it doesn't matter if I find them no actually it matter if you find them in fact those yeah. are not really in, uh, contradiction you see the problem is that those yeah. who they are speaking of contradictions they are short of knowledge as an example yeah. Uh, uh, if I say uh, David, he have uh, seven hundred rooms in his house, and different page says he have uh, twenty rooms. Yeah, that is not a contradiction, because wow. each one of them he report a story about certain time. So when I build my house, I don't have seven hundred rooms right away. I have two hundred rooms, maybe. I have one hundred one one room. Maybe I have no rooms at all. So uh, 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 people who have knowledge, they did not notice contradiction because for them this mm -hmm. is something like it is not uh, too. Uh, uh, you see one one as an example in the other day somebody told me about the 30 silvers he said to me it says in that book the the, the story of the 30 silver what we go there we cannot find it this is a contradiction but mm -hmm. there it mentioned the person who is the the story about him about the putter who is the mm -hmm. person who who paid the 30 silver so it mentioned there and then you will find it in the book of Zechariah so if you have knowledge knowledge mm -hmm. then you will not see contradiction but if you have ignorance you will have contradiction in, in mm. Islam is the opposite in Islam the more knowledge you have the more the more contradiction you see mm. you know yeah, yeah. so mm. so what is contradiction for some that is because of their ignorance not because so because you, you studied for yourself the Bible and you well I am, I am like everybody you know I heard of those contradiction before like you know you are saying yeah, yeah. now and I did search them and I found they are silly and stupid and there's nothing there so uh, uh, you can study all the contradiction people they are saying uh, speaking about and you can uh, research uh, the answers you know uh, of the Christians uh, now, now for sure some some Christians they struggle to uh, to uh, to give you an answer about certain issues but that not yeah. because again not because the the Bible have have uh, an issue because themselves yeah. they are limited with knowledge Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Like when, yeah, when yeah. Jesus when Jesus speak in his time to the Jews, uh, yeah. as an example, he said to them, "What do you say of the Messiah?" The Jews they said he is a son of David. Well, yeah. nobody can really say he is not because this is what uh, all the Bible speak about. He is a son of well, David. David, I have no uh, uh, knowledge about. Um, no problem, my friend. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just giving you an example. I'm just giving you an example. It's not about okay. David now. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's just an example. Okay, he said to them, "Well, if he is son of David." then how mm. David himself called him Lord now mm. if you are a person who do not know where David called Christ Lord you will be wondering mm -hmm. where is that this is a contradiction right where, mm. where, where but if you are a person who have knowledge you will know yes. that this is something a quotation from the Old Testament and it's exactly saying as he said so when we speak without knowledge we make a mm -hmm. foolish uh, judgment you know 
so uh, read study yes. first and then try to research again don't search for the the contradiction before Perfect. you study, Just study. Uh, you uh, know okay understand. because that would avoid you from making the mistakes it's like somebody going in the highway uh, and uh, uh, and he's complaining about the highway but he don't even know even how to drive in the highway you know mm -hmm. so first yes. you learn how to drive in the highway you learn about the highway and then you go and, and and then examine the highway if it's good or not you know okay i understand it okay there are no contradictions no mathematical errors no error in science and when i uh, have knowledge or ask <laughs> Someone as an example, as an example, would, some they yeah. say to you that there is an error in in uh, in uh, manuscript, uh, uh, let us say writing, because people write by hands, right? Yeah. People write by hands, but even though yes. I, I don't agree, those are are uh, error of manuscript, because at the end of the day, they are corrected by the manuscript writer himself. So it's mm -hmm. very normal. Like now, if I if you if you read my book, you will find some errors there, right? But those are not error yeah. about about the religion. Those are error about the grammar. Uh, error about uh, language correct yeah okay mm -hmm. I understand. yeah mm -hmm. so we we as a christian we believe the bible written not by the hand of god you know it's written by the hand of people mm -hmm. and as long as it's written by the hand of people people are people so people can make mm -hmm. a grammatical mistake people they can make an error but it's not mm -hmm. god error okay but yeah i am that are uh, answers which i uh, looking for so uh, because people have written it it's the word of god but what types of um, mistakes can i find for me and can say that that is because that uh, um, human uh, no, have you see it. when when god he say it's god he say yeah. when when a human he say it's a human he say so if i say something to you let us say now from this conversation i say yeah. something to you and it was wrong this is the mistake of a christian prince but if I am claiming to be a prophet of God and the one is talking is God now, and then that is wrong, that does mean that is a mistake of God. Okay, so some prophets are, uh, who uh, talk, <coughs> they made mistakes, and that prophets are people, my friend. Even the Bible confirms no, that no, prophets. No, no, no. You know, I yeah. want to first. I want to uh, know how to. I want to know what is my gla my glasses when I uh, what what. What type of glasses I have? I understand. I understand. So we don't I, go. We don't go. I listen, listen, listen. Let us not waste our time. It is not the prophet who will bring God to you. It is God who bring bring God to you, which means okay, okay. prophet that, himself. That prophet, prophet, prophet okay. himself. Peter himself. Jesus, he said to stay away from me, Satan. Imagine this is Peter. You know, mm -hmm. stay from away from me, Satan. So here we go. This is Peter. Peter, he took his sword and he wanna he cut the ear of the of the soldier. Jesus, uh, he rebuked him. He said, "Why you do that?" You know. So, uh, it, 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 if if Peter himself is speaking, but it's not mm -hmm. Jesus, that is Peter speaking. If Peter okay, he says something, okay. that is Peter. You judge Peter by what he said. You don't judge Jesus by what Peter said. Now, okay, I understand. So they are positive. Um, you said you don't want to waste time. Positive um, um, uh, miracles are. Uh, Prophecies. I can watch prophecies in the Old Testament and New Testament, right? Prophecies and the most important thing for me, my friend, yeah. for you as a person looking for the truth, that God Himself He will reveal Himself to you. It's not just reading a book. Uh, our book is not a plain book. It's not just a. It's not a dead text. It's a living. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Yeah. Then show me a few examples which are you which you are knowing how Jesus has revealed to someone. I just watched my videos and last week you will find many people call and they speak about how Jesus revealed himself to them Give me please a few example, please Well, every everyone he have, the, he have different dream? No, no, not necessarily everyone have different experience You know sometime you read a story in the Bible and you will find that the, the, the Lord is speaking to you about you in this story uh -huh. You'll find yourself in the story So mm -hmm. the Bible can be a way and actually it's a very powerful way It can yeah. be that the Lord maybe is speak to you appear to you come to you or it can be through uh, other person you know someone he brought uh, he brought uh, let us say uh, to your attention something very important and make you believe strongly that this is what you want so the yeah. lord he used everything around us he lured, okay. he, he used the beauty of, of a garden in your in, in your house he used the beauty of a child in your in, in, in your in your family he used everything around you to to show you that this is my maid and i am the one who created you now okay, then I, this is no, not a, have... this is not metaphorical this is not uh, something just a spiritual and like fictions you, you when you feel it you will feel it and you will tell me about it 
So okay, I cannot, I, I cannot no. make you. No, no, no. I cannot I make you feel it. I cannot make you no, feel no, it. No, no, no. I have to show you something. Hmm. Something. What happened to me the last three days? Okay. That was the reason why I called you and why I, I believe that Jesus already come to me. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. So I want to show it to you. I made uh, pictures. Oh wait, wait, wait. I made a screenshot. Um, I want to. Um, I have to. Um, um, okay. First, I explain it, and then I show you the p uh, pictures I made. Yes. Okay. Uh, when I lied in my bed, uh, I have seen a cross through um, the Venetian blinds. You know what I mean, Venetian blinds? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the light came from a room of a building which is um, uh, uh, which formed the building where I am. Yes, mm -hmm. and only a cross came through the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. and in that situation, uh, I feel that something comes over me. I my breathing was not under control, and I get goosebumps. You know. Okay. Okay, and now I want to show it to you yes all right so you and took, you, you you took a picture of it yeah in a video i made uh, i was thinking about it and uh, i want to show it to you okay mm. so if you receive a message like this i don't know what are you waiting for already he came to you you know, you you're, you're, I, you are I thinking about it. I already accepted it in my heart. I already accepted it in my heart, but I have the fear that I uh, get a ray in the future. You know what I mean? Therefore, mm. I wanted to, I wanted to hear, and you gave me gave Follow me your heart, my friend. Follow your heart, and your heart is 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 a. Uh, you have a. You are a good person. You are not a bad man. So your heart will not take you to the wrong direction. You know, as long as you accepted the Messiah in your heart, that's it. You know, I remember you when you called me, and you know, we debated me and you, and then you decide to leave Islam. You remember? Yes. Right? Okay. When you, since you did make that decision in your heart, do you feel like you made a mistake, or it was a good decision? No. Okay. No, it was a very good decision. Okay. I see. have. You have to zoom in. I have want to show you more. Yeah, I see it actually. Do you see the cross? I see the cross. That's that's really strange. But wait, next day, a cross came again. Yeah. But in another uh, position, wait. That was the first day, and then. Uh, but there's nothing there, right? It just like looked like a cross, but there's nothing there, right? No, that's ah. Wait, I think you uh, sent you a picture when it's day, uh, when I have the light on. My room is very. Uh, <laughs> um, no, actually, it's filthy. dark. It's dark room. I yeah, wait. I sh I thank hmm. you now a picture when I made the light up. Wait. Uh, it's for me. It's very really dark. I see only the cross. I see like the behind of like the window or the, the wall. You know, that's what I see. Well, then watch the second. Sorry, my room's very filthy because I have a clo uh, Don't worry. Um, old. You became when you uh, make. Um, do you see the picture? That's strange too. That's, <laughs> that's strange. when I have light on. On, but when I make light, light but how on, the light come? I mean, how how in the world wait, this is going to happen? You see, wait, guys, wait. the light is on. Still, there is a light in the in the wall which have nothing to do with the original light coming as a cross. No, wait, wait, wait. It's uh, it's from. Um, wait, I show it to you. How? That's really amazing. Uh, hmm. Now you can see how uh, the light is coming from the window. Okay, let us see this one. Yeah. I never saw something like this before. Huh? I, I never have seen something like this before too. Right, it's not enough proof for me. I made more pictures. I made maybe f uh, 50 pictures. Wait. That was the first day, yeah. So the strange, he even when it's dark, the cross is there. You turn the light on, the cross is there. No, no. When I turn the light on, it's not the cross. No, I, because because here is the light. There's a, I see a light. Even the light is there. That did you send me? The light is on, isn't it? 
Yeah, but now now I made the light on and then it's not a cross. Only when I turn off the light, then I see a cross. No, actually, even when the light is on, I see a cross too. I don't know if you if you focus with me carefully, you will no, see. No, wait, wait. I have to go to uh, YouTube then to see it. No, I don't. I did not show it in the screen because I need to show uh, us. Okay, thank you. So, hey, because you, before you told me you don't like to show your yourself, and you know, I understand. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, where where is the cross? Because when if you if you look at the line, you see when the light is on and on. Uh, on which picture? The second. Uh, or the, uh, the one have have light on. If you look at the ah. if you look at the drapes and of your uh, of your uh, uh, your blind, you will see that there is a cross there. You see the light making different, and you will see it's coming as a cross. So there's a there's a line coming up down, and then if you look from the right, from the right, you will see one drape. The light there look totally different. Do you see it? Not yet. It's is it? Uh, I sent you three pictures, right? Okay. Do you see where the broken uh, drape? There is the broken one, starting from that. There is a three dra drape are broken, right? There is three of them. They are broken. Ah, at when, the end. ah when they are closed. Okay, okay. Yeah, right, there is right. a three of them. They are broken. Now look at the one at the top right away, and you will so, uh, you, like you go uh, like about five uh, centimeter away or ten centimeters, and then you will see the light change from this direction. Can you sh uh, can you zoom in and show it on uh, YouTube? Let me do that to you. I will send it to you. Hold on. Because uh, I don't. I will. I will put. I will put an arrow for you. Okay. But you have to watch uh, the full uh, the full uh, proof. That's not enough. That's the first day. Yeah. Okay. Well, I understand, but I'm, I mean, even in the, here, I see, I see something. I will yeah. send you a, a snapshot to your Skype. Hold on. Oh, okay. Thank you. I put an arrow in it so you can see it. Okay. I don't know how to send thing here. Let us see. Uh, the file, okay. Okay, take a look. Yeah. Do you see how the, the how the light change in this location? Yes. Okay. So uh, you mean um, the the thing which is going th from above? Yeah, where, the... where where is the arrow? The next to but you will see the light change, the light of the drape change, the, the the color change, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is this will make a cross, even when the light is on. No. Mm, but I can't see the whole cross. You mean the big light is, is a the big light and there is a there's a light in the middle, you know, you see different yeah. color. They are it making different color from all the other colors in there, and then uh, it's continue to the other side of the of the of the cross. Okay, okay, I see it. Okay, I see it, yes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway, what else you so you have? This is what you have for for uh, about this, all these pictures you have? No, 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 wait. Okay. Um I show you on the next day that the cross came again, but a few centimeter below. Her. Okay. You. But did you investigate? The, did you try to investigate the light? How the light is happening there? Is there a, a, another source of light or anything? What is making it? Yes, happen? yes. I sent you. Yeah. Watch the third picture. It's the light from the neighbor house mm. from the uh, mm. from the room. But this has never See? happened before. The light is always there, but never saw this before, right? Never ever I have seen. I'm uh, mm. living here since three yeah. months. Okay. I never have seen it before. On, and now the second day, the cross becomes a little bit below. Her. Be because I make the um, thing, uh, the, um, what is the word? The Venetian binds mm. up and uh, below. And then the next day cross again, but on another place. You see it? Yeah, I see it. You have to understand. I didn't search across. I was lying in my bed, 
and uh, I have uh, on the first day, and then I wa just look uh, up, and then I see a cross, and then I get the, uh, the br breathing and uh, goosebumps and such such like this. And I was praying, thank you, thank you. Never became a sign like this when I was praying to Allah, and then. Next day, I was looking a video, uh, the song, um, Mary, do you know, you know, mm -hmm. the, the song, and then I looked again up, up, and then I have seen the cross. Do you have seen that it's another location? And you said, but you said you have like a breathing, uh, like you felt something, right? It's not just seeing the cross. On the first yeah. uh, time, yes, mm, okay. it was, I have felt mm. anything something so my friend you know this is a sign you are the only one can see it and you are the only one can believe it because simply it's happened to you for me i just see a picture and i am a believer without seeing any sign of anyone i'm a believer i'm a strong believer but mm. for you i think the lord is speaking to you in his own way as i said to you before he can deliver mm. to you things to you he can deliver a message to you in anything around you even by people around you so it's and you said you accept him in your heart right Yes. So what is missing? That's it. You know what I advise you to do. That's it. Read the Bible. Yeah. Read the Bible and go yeah. to a church and do baptism. And you are a Christian, my friend. Mm -hmm. And then you will see yes. how you, you will. Then you will notice after the baptism, after you became a Christian, for real. You mm -hmm. know, uh, you mm -hmm. will see. You will see more signs in your life. How your life will change. You will be a different person, a new person. This is why we call ourselves born again Christians. Mm. You know, okay, okay. I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. so happy for you, my friend. That's you. You are uh, you accepted the Christ in your life, and we spoke to you not long time ago, just a week ago or ten days ago. Me and you we spoke. You were a Muslim uh, at that time. Yes. Yeah. For uh, yeah. for two or for Actually, three days. Yes. Yeah. People who don't want to hear his uh, how how he left Islam, you can go and listen. This this gentleman, he gave me a lot of hard time. Actually. <laughs> He was asking questions all mm. over. Uh, it took some time <laughs> for him to leave Islam, but he decided to leave Islam, which is very happy for him to have. Mm. And I'm very happy for you now that you, you know, you got your sign from the Lord and you accepted mm. him in your heart. But I encourage you to read more because the Lord, he said, read the books, search the books. Mm. We are not like the Muslims, bunch of ignorant who believe blindly, you know. Even though mm. believing mm. in what even the Lord, he says, bless those who believe what did not see, but doesn't mean they do not know. Mm. So we have to know not only it's not about seeing things it's about knowing things mm. so uh, read the books study study the character of Jesus the way he speak the mm -hmm. the wisdom uh, if you want to find even mistakes and uh, according to you find mistakes if you want you know you can you can search no problem like discuss things with yourself with your friends uh, but you will notice that there's nothing nothing absolutely can be better to follow than than the Messiah I encourage okay, you and okay. I, I will be happy to receive calls from you in the future maybe in maybe in 10 days from now if you read the first gospel second gospel etc and you will notice mm. how how um, how every story in the bible i advise you when you read the bible not to read the story as a story try to mm. live the story this is what i do yes i, yes. I, I don't uh, i don't you know if i want to if i wanna understand how jesus was in the cross i imagine mm. as if i'm watching a movie don't watch a movie to understand what happened to Jesus in the cross? No, because movies are f full of fictions and they add things. It's not okay. there, you know. Uh -huh. So don't try to understand Christ from a stupid movie. Even if it's a movie, some Christians they approve. No, we don't. I don't believe in movies, and none of them present Christ to us. You want to understand the Messiah? Mm. You understand him from the Bible, nothing else. Mm. Okay, okay, I will do. I sent you a video. I made a video too. Okay. So when I when I changed the. Uh, um, with my handy the view of it so mm. so you can see how the cross goes away but so that it's only one yeah um, there's only one thing shining in this darkness yeah yeah and it's only one opportunity to see it and right. when i'm lying in my bed but mm. when i stand up when i go through the room mm. just when i lie in my bed and looking to the light from my bed mm. you see it yeah but you yeah yeah well the location of your bed is your location is where you where you stay <laughs> you know yeah this the whole is, this time is why, this it's is why it appeared amazing. for you in that location because this is where you exactly you will be 
I made another video. I don't know whether you want to see it. If you want to see it, I will send you. It's Not right. yet. No, no problem. My friend, because, I, I'm no, really happy for you. Because, uh, uh, because uh, I yeah. go through the whole room and looking for another cross, but I can't find it. I uh, Six minutes, and then I went through the whole uh, room and looking for another cross, but one opportunity, I'm lying in my bed and I'm making a video from the cross. That's the only possibility to see it. That has to be a sign from the Lord, honor. Well, uh, uh, for me, I believe that the Lord, He spoke to you already. He spoke mm -hmm. to your heart the day you decide to leave Islam before the sign you are see, you are seeing now, mm -hmm. um, and I believe that there is something inside you making you go in that direction, mm -hmm. and maybe you are not aware of it, but later you will find what it is. I think you already. Okay. I you. think you are already mm -hmm. in love with the Messiah. Yes. And already mm -hmm. and already you are a believer, and mm -hmm. uh, you need just like uh, you know sometime, uh, you know like there is a big truck. And in the top of the hill, and mm. there is there's a little rock mm. is in the front of the tire. All, all, all what we need mm. to make this truck run is to push mm. this little rock, and that and the truck will run. You know, mm. so you are a person waiting for the little rock to be removed from in front of you. You have a still little little rock in your life, mm. and it's it is it is bothering you. It's not that you go. And here we go. The sign make that little rock go away. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank all you. Right, I uh, pray the Lord. Well, we will pray for you, my friend. I will ask all the Christians who they are watching to pray for mm. our brother here, who uh, who left Islam just a few weeks, uh, a few days ago, actually. After we a few debated. days, yeah, few a days, few days ago, after debating with me, and he gave me a hard time, and here we go. He accepted mm. the Messiah in his heart, and I hope soon he will get baptism, and he will know what it's meant to be a real Christian, not a fake Christian. Not everyone is born from a Christian family is a Christian. Christians is somebody who mm. is born again with the Messiah by the Holy Spirit. So we pray for you, mm -hmm. my friend. I hope soon we will have a good news from your side. Okay, I will. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much you. for okay. calling. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say thank, thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Well, uh, it's amazing how people, they change and how, how the, the word is powerful to change the life of somebody. Uh, you know, when he called me, he was in like he had a lot of questions trying to prove me somehow wrong. Uh, but he himself, in his heart, he have a doubt about Islam for sure. And at the end, he decided to leave Islam because he is a person who decided not to be fool. As you see, until now, we are asking Muslims, Who is Allah? They don't know. I mean, what, how in the world, you or anyone or me, we worship a person, we do not know who is he. Look, just just to show you the fruit of Muslims, they call me names. If you see the names they call me, you know, son of Muta. A Muslim calling me son of Muta. The funny, if Muta is bad in your cult, if Muta is a prostitution, and we Christians, we don't do Muta. It is your Muhammad who came with the Muta. So why you don't say that your prophet himself is a son of Muta? Was your prophet himself married? His mother married to his father according to Islam? No. Is it true that your prophet, the sister of Waraq ibn Nufal, she offered him 100, 100 camel to sleep with her, but he was in his way to sleep with the mother of Muhammad, which means he was a jigalo? Go and educate yourself. And as long as you believe that Muta is bad and you are saying to me, son of Muta, that's mean you believe truly that Muhammad was a Muta person because he is the one who come with the law of muta that a woman she can take off her panty you know and rent her vagina to somebody let us see we have abdul when i talk to me hello you again yes somebody hello. saying to me somebody saying to me the son of muta what do you think about the muta? Yes, what's wrong? What are you telling me? What is the muta? The muta is a woman, a Muslim woman. You see her in the elevator. You say to her, "Take off your panty. I will give you ten dollars." What kind of God he teach you such a teaching? Where does it say that in the hadith? In the hadith does not say you go in the elevator. If you mean the elevator, but in the hadith says 
any man any women they like to have bum bum together for three days three night it's up to them you know is that right yes okay so yes. what what kind of a prophet and what kind of religion it says such a thing that any woman any man they want to have bum bum for three days you know as they say in Asia boom boom you know boom boom so your prophet yes. says if any man any women agree to do boom boom and for yes. three days or three night and they like to continue or to increase or decrease it's up to them so we have a we have a religion of boom boom and we have a prophet of boom boom but yet you Muslims you speak too much about dignity yes uh, what's wrong with sex nothing it's wrong absolutely. nothing wrong with sex but this is not about this is just a, this is here is just prostitution yeah you know a Muslim woman so if your sister she is going in the elevator and she see uh, Muhammad hijab and Muhammad hijab he said to her I want to do boom boom with you for ten dollars you have no, you have no problem with that no no okay why you, why you don't have a problem with that why you don't have a problem just because you want to make ten dollars oh, I'm, I'm having a problem because if he marries her then he can do it but this is not marriage this is about sex that's why it's called muta what muta mean what do, you, do you know what muta mean in Arabic no muta in Arabic mean joy joy of sex Yes, but uh, it only says here you, you, you can do it for uh, if uh, you are married to her. What married? Where is the word marriage? Do you see the word marriage? This is the, the translation, false translation. It doesn't say. Yeah. It says ayyuma rajul wa imra tawafaqa fa ishra. If if a man and a woman they agree to do ishra, which means to have sexual relationship for three days, three nights, if they like to increase, they increase. Where is the word marriage? This is a false translation in the, in the English. There's no in Arabic. There's no uh, marriage. This is boom boom. Your prophet is the prophet of the boom boom. No. If you compare Muhammad with uh, King uh, Suleiman, then uh, we have a bit. Uh, well, uh, Suleiman, Suleiman did boom boom by muta. He offered women uh, five dollars to take off their panty. Your prophet is stay is still in you. Your, your prophet is staying in you. You just said that if your sister she go in the elevator with Muhammad hijab and he offer her ten dollar, you have no problem with that. No, that's different than uh, what this. do you mean different? What do you mean different? This is you have to pay her, isn't it true that you have to pay her money? No. What do you mean? No, no? what do you mean? No, you don't have to pay her uh, money. No, you what have is... to pay her. You're a liar, my friend. You are a boom boom guy. Read the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. It says you have to pay them their wages. I'm just talking about um, uh, Muta. This is muta. We are talking about muta. So all this time you are talking, you do not know we are talking about what I told you. Since you call me, we are talking about muta. So muta is something you pay to a woman. You pay money to a woman to take off her panty. You do boom boom and thank you very much. Praise be to Allah. What kind of religion this religion is? Your God is the God of boom boom. No. What do you uh, mean? No, you. If you are in heaven, uh, you will have sex. Uh, also, you. If Christianity is a true religion. No, in heaven we don't have sex in Christianity. What? We don't have sex in Christianity. This is why you Muslims don't like to go to heaven of Christians. You like to go to Las Vegas, heaven of, friend, of uh, heaven of Muhammad. What kind of, why? What, what kind of God is giving you such uh, reward? But well, because our God is because our God is holy your God is the God of the boom boom your God is imported from Thailand from 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 Thailand bars you know your God is coming from there literally so you, you have a you have a you collected your God Allah from the boom boom land and you imported him to Arabia and now you worship the boom boom God and you believe in the boom boom and everything in your religion about boom boom may Allah boom you okay let me just give you a let me ask you let, let me ask you do Allah will do boom, is Allah is going to do boom boom no what do you mean no what if i show you that allah himself would do boom boom too okay show me what you will do if i show you you promise me you will what? leave islam yes uh, i uh, promise show me you promise yes i don't believe you okay swear I swear by the fig you will leave islam if i do i swear by the fig i swear by the olive too i swear by the olive oh he okay. why why you swear by the fig do you worship fig my friend, this is not topic. I know, but I just I'm asking you why you accept so fast to, to to swear by the fig. Is that because your God Allah He swear by fig? Yes. Okay. Why your God is swear by the fig? 
I don't know. Okay. We go to the tafsir and we will see your prophet saying the following. Okay. And your God, actually. Boom, boom, God. You see my screen? Yes. Okay. Why you always shout? Yes. Why take it easy, relax. Drink some camera urine. This is a chapter 21, verse number 17. Does it say that your God Allah, if he desire to have boom boom, he is going to have boom boom with the black eyed women or the angels of God? If he desires it, but he doesn't. It doesn't matter, do but it says, but it says, if he want to do boom boom, he will do boom boom with the virgin Huri. Yes or no? If your God wants to do that, he can do that. Okay. How, so how? So why you said to me if I show you that your God will do boom boom, you will leave Islam, and now you'd have no problem with it. So you agree that your God, he will do boom boom? No, he doesn't. What he, do you mean he would do? Here we go. It says this is your Muslim. This is your Muslim false translation saying, "Had we desire to have some boom boom, which provide us some boom boom child, we would found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed huris. Your God, Allah, wanna do boom boom with Himself, and He called boom boom Himself is oh, the black eyed oh, women. I, How Allah? Are, okay, are, okay. Explain to me. Explain to me. Allah is going to do boom boom to the beautiful eyed women, and He called Himself oh, ourself. Okay. If He desires. If he desire, that's mean he have a penis. Because if he desire and you don't have a penis, that would be a problem, right? Oh, if he if he wants that. Do your penis, God like, Allah. Do your God Allah. Is your God Allah capable of doing boom boom with the black eyed women? Yes or no? She's uh, yes. Yes. If your God, what, yes. If your so God, Allah, guys, Allah, He is capable of having sex with the black eyed women. So how you Muslim, you say to us that Allah is not a man, but He have a penis of a man. My friend, if your God wants to have sex, he can also do that. It's God. He can do whatever he wants. Oh, suddenly your God can do whatever you want. But when you want, he don't know. You see, when we say to you, do your God have a son? You say, no, he don't have a son. Now your no. God, he can do whatever he wants. Okay, how? But in order to do whatever he wants, he have to sex to, to have sex with the women. He have to have the nature of a woman. How you can? Because the women, she have a, a private part of a human being. In, in order to have a, a sex with a human being, a, a female, you have to have a private part of a human being too. So do your God, Allah, have a penis of a man? Oh, he doesn't have a penis. So what he will use, his finger? No, he's not going to have sex. But you just said to me, if he want, he can. Of course, you okay. got to. So if he want, he can. If he Okay, he can. He can do it by what? Using his finger, using his nose, using his toes, using his what? What he will use exactly? Yeah, if he wants, he, he he can have a penis. He can have a penis. Where he go, where he, where he will get the penis from? He will create a penis for himself. No, he will uh, uh, wish it. Hmm. Will create. Oh, so like he wish say. he wish he says, "I wish I have a penis," and right away, like boing, something will come from between no, his no. legs, and he will have a penis. Oh, I mean, like uh, snapping his fingers, and he will have a penis. He snap his finger, and the penis will come out. Yes, uh, I uh, like that. Wishing. Okay. Oh, I like him like this, huh? Like this, and the penis yes. will come out boing. Okay. Yes. My friend, I hope that your God Allah will not snap his fingers when you see him and your head in the front of his, uh, you know, because the penis will come out and you will be in trouble. So, my friend, what's my friend? My friend, my friend I, my, don't say me, my friend. I want to ask you here. Do you see the way it says ourself in the text? Do you see where it says ourself? This uh, tafsir uh, al Jalalin is a is a yeah. publication. Why, why it says Life. why it says ourself if Allah is one? Uh, what is uh, angels and uh, no no Allah 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 saying ourself Allah speaking about himself saying ourself. Allah, Allah yeah. says we. No, but here he says ourself. This is different. He is going to have partner with ourself. Are you saying to me he is going to f himself? So now Allah, he snap his finger, his penis come out, and then he do f himself. Are you saying that, my friend? If Allah wants, He can create ten ten universes. No problem. No, 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 no. Listen, Allah here is going to f somebody. Don't tell me. He said ourself, and he said no. what is ourself? He said ourself from among the beautiful eyed huris. So no. there is female Allah in Islam. There is female Allah. Her name is a beautiful eyed huri. So the huris are from. The cousins of of Allah. Otherwise, why he called them ourselves? My friend, 
Why are you okay? Let me uh, read this verse. Snap your finger first. No, you snap your finger, maybe the penis of Allah will help you. No, okay, no problem. Keep it, keep it in the panty. I, I, I'm saying that to you because he will never have any. If you snap into tomorrow, nothing will happen. Trust me, but anyway, keep, okay. keep trying. Okay, my friend, mm. if uh, why is your God if your God is so uh, such a nice God, why? For example, if a really good woman, she, uh, she does a lot of good uh, good deeds in the in your religion. She helps people. She uh, spent her whole life helping people with good deeds. And then someone comes. He ha he didn't have a good life, but Jesus still forgave him, and he entered heaven. Why would he have the same uh, reward? Why not saying yes? Uh, this person will go. Anybody to Anybody understand anything, guys? Yeah. Like, snap your finger before before you speak to me because I have no idea what are you talking about. Don't change the topic, my friend. Ourself, no. Allah, ourself is going to have sex with ourself. Who is ourself is going to if ourself? Explain to us. I don't know. Why you do not know? By the way, I like the idea that your God is going to have sex with the angels because as you see here, it says yeah. he would have sex with the angels, but angels in the Quran, they are male. Don't you know? My friend. No, don't tell me my friend now. I want you to answer me. How Allah is going to if the angels when the Quran confirmed that the angel of Islam, they are male, not female. Because he's not going to F them. Well, here we go. But he said, if we want to have sex, we will have sex either with the black eyed women, Hori. Or with the angels, okay. The angels are male, so your okay, God Allah, yeah. your God Allah will snap his finger, his penis will come out, as you said, like an antenna for a fancy car. For sure, his penis will be long, really. He's Allah, I mean, he's Akbar, and then he is going to have sex with Jibreel. And then, after nine months, we will see, see Mr. Jibreel coming us coming down to earth to Muhammad, and he's a Britney. How your God is going to have sex with Jibreel? Let me. Uh... Read this verse. Read the verse. And then to take a, di a division, we could have taken it from with us if indeed we were. If if some uh, tafsir says this is about that uh, topic, why are you uh, saying is uh, such thing? No way here does it say Allah is going to f them. It says here to take a partner in Arabic. It says here lahwan. He will take a partner. Do you see the word partner? A partner so he can have a child do you see it Allah want to take a partner so he can have a child he want to have a baby no. me 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 you know he want to have a baby so Allah now he want to take a partner in order to make the partner pregnant how they do how you make a partner pregnant you make it by having sex with them correct so he snapped yes. his finger as you said he snapped his finger like you know I, I saw actually Muhammad hijab saying show me answer me Silence me look like he was having sex at that time. So here we go. Allah he snapped his finger Partner a child and then we have bingo bingo and we have a beautiful eyed woman and we have two options for being boom boom either the beautiful eyed women or the angels And uh, Yes mm. oh, Okay, and so how Allah will have sex with the angels they are male Because he's not What do you mean? Let, let me ask you do the Muslims in the heaven do they get uh, Muslim men do they get a breath net? No, what do you mean? No, if I show you what you will do, okay, show me, show me, okay, I will show, show you, but don't do anything to your like, okay, don't get a breath net, mm. okay, okay, uh, let us see. Um, who... You know, uh, Christianity, uh, don't tell me, no, Christian, here we go. The Quran, <laughs> he, he, oh, oh, don't change topic. You're a prophet, he said, if a believer he wants to have a child in paradise, he will be conceived and born grown up in a short while according to his desire. So you yes. is going to be breathnet and you will deliver a boy or a you know a, a, or, a, or a baby. You tell me how you will get a breathnet and you are a male. Yes, it's about women. This is not about women, it says a believer. The believer speaking about men here we go in front of us al mu'min not al mu'mina in arabic it says al mu'min which means male believer al mu'min let me highlight for you here okay, we go uh, al mu'min do you see it al mu'min so not al mu'mina 
So when a believer, when a Muslim man believer, he 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 he, he, he wished to have a baby, he is yes. going to get a breath net and he will deliver the baby in less actually in Arabic it says Fisa, which means in less than one hour. In less yes. than 20 minutes, actually. Okay. So you are in heaven and now you wish to have a baby, and now you get a breath net. How you get a breath net? Who is going to make your breath net? Uh, like uh, it's uh, it's your wish. Allah was. <coughs> so is Allah is going to bang bang you? Who is the one uh, who is okay? How you how who is going to put a baby in your uh, and and the baby will be where in your stomach and your liver where where the baby you don't have a womb you're like a woman. Speak, Allah says, hmm. whoever wants a wish wish and I will grant his wish. Okay, so you wish to have a to to get screwed by uh, Abdul like you, you know. And he snap his finger. He do bang bang bing bong, you know, boom boom to you. And suddenly now you have a, you are a bread net and you deliver the baby in less than twenty minutes. That's wonderful. But uh -oh. now, but now we have a we, uh -oh. we have we I have a question for you. You are a bread net and you are going to deliver the baby. The baby will come from where? Okay. First, let me tell you one thing. No, first, tell me. No, tell me first. The boom after the boom boom after the boom boom now you are a breath net in 20 minutes you have a problem the baby have to come out where you will deliver the baby out from i am going to answer your question first mm. you will not have a sex with a man secondly mm. i don't know where he will come out mm. Mm. so how you will have a baby but just by wishing you get a breath net yes okay the, uh, now okay wish. now let us say you you snap your finger you made your wish and you are a breath net out and you have you have 20, 15 minutes exactly to deliver the baby now where you will get the baby out from i don't know what do you mean you know you have to find the solution otherwise you're going to explode where the baby yeah. will come out I will, yeah. I will i will give you i will give you options you deliver the baby from your anus how how big is your anus everyone in that uh, gender will uh, look like uh, 30 meters long i think oh uh, still the baby is going to be big because you are big too does that that, no. that change nothing? What what are you saying? You are going to lay eggs? You became a chicken there, so you will you will you will give birth to a baby, and the baby will fit with the size of the of the parent. The baby no. will not be little little chicken. Is going to be a baby. Hmm? Where you, where you will think. deliver? I want you to think with me. Where you will deliver the baby from? Until now, you did not give me an answer. Where the where the baby will come from? Yeah, out of your uh, anus. Uh, if you're anus, your anus, not mine, because I will not. I'm not a Muslim. I will not be there. Okay. So you Muslims in the heaven of Allah, you will shit babies. If uh, if a man wants to, yes. Okay. What 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 a shitty what a shitty kids you have. I mean, if your baby are coming like shit, that's shitty religion, man. Anyway, you know, I really like talking to you, but we have to give a chance for other Muslims to call. Do you mind to like get, take a break so we can receive some Muslim calls and you can call uh, me later again? Yes, but uh, can I show you one hadith? Just one minute. You want to show me a hadith? Is it is it like about boom boom? No. Is it about Allah? Uh, about Muhammad. No, I wanna I want it about Allah because we are asking the Abdul like you about uh, the God of the boom boom Allah. Can you show me something something special about the boom boom God? Yes. Okay, show me what do you want to show me. Okay. Okay, you send me something in the Skype. What is that? What Sahih Muslim book number? What does that mean? Just uh, search it up. Okay. Tell me what is that? Okay, wait. Is this is the hadith about how to make hummus? No. It's about to do what? Boom boom. Okay. Yeah, I'll send I'll send the link. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, uh okay, so the, the, you want me to show, to put that in the screen? Yes. You will promise me you will not be sorry. I will not be sorry. Okay. Muhammad he said that the human being is a created of 60 every every child is a created of uh, 360 joint. Uh -huh. If you go and search right now you will find that this is an, a very bad mistake my friend. Oh, 
Both scientists agree that uh, no, human nobody, body... nobody agree. This is stupid. This is the Muslim fabrication. They try, yes, yes. No, 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 no. You know, I, I, I have, I have this even in my book. If you read my book, you will laugh at this. No. Okay, hold on. So, okay, if, okay, okay, hold on. If we, if we now show you how many joints a human being have. Are you willing to leave Islam if it is not in agreement with your prophet? Okay, you uh, you sent uh, your uh, what scientists agree with your statement and and also mine. You know, you just you you will send me an Islamic article already written by Abdul. How many no. join? How many join? No. Okay, no, no. You see, you, you are the one who mentioned something to me. Either you accept it or you don't accept it. What about scientists. Scientists, yeah, scientists. They are not boom boom scientists. You know, they are real scientists. Not an article written by Abdul. No, it's not by uh, written by a Muslim. It's written by scientists. It's written by scientists, but but is it an Islamic article, brother? Okay, I'll show you. Is it an Islamic article written no. by scientists or written by scientists? Yes. Your prophet either even do not know how the baby is made. Yes, he says. Yeah. And by the way, does. by the way, why why is it three hundred sixty joints? Do you know? My friend, my friend, uh, my, my uh, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Oh, no, what? <laughs> A bankrupt religion. They are trying. They are trying to find any anything. You know. Because what they do, they try to uh, uh, the same as they do when they speak about the Quran, they speak about seven liars, and they say this is the atmosphere. Is that correct, Abdul? I don't know. Yeah, any I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, in in didn't one know. verse, it says that Allah has created above his seven strong heavens, but I don't know if that's about the uh, all place those, of all those are made up false fiction stories, and there's no proof. Of them, all of those are false stories. It says okay. in scientists in scientist studies there is are between two hundred to four hundred joints in a human body, and no. yes, this is what it says. Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I will show you too, my friend. I will show you. Do you want me to show you? If I show you, do you do you, do you uh, decide to leave Islam, my friend? I'll show you mine. Uh, no problem. Uh, if I show you, if I show you, you will leave Islam, my friend. Do you agree? Yes. Here we go. Expert answer. There are 200 to 400 joints in human body. Okay, cl uh, click on my uh, website. Do you see, my friend? You, I, I, my web no, your website is made by the Abdul and we laugh at it. No, no, uh, no, it's, no, it's, no. Here we go. This is expert answer. How many joined? This is not a Christian website. This is not a Jewish website. This is not a Hindu website. How many joints are in the human body? It says between 200 to 400, which means they are de depend in how you count them. Now, you are why, why you Muslims are shish kebab trying to cover the boom, boom, God issues? You're a prophet. Let me, you know, if you're a prophet, he knew how many joints a human being he have. Then he should knew how the baby is generated. Look what your prophet he said, and we asked you the same question just a day ago. You remember? You remember? Uh, uh, do, you, do, you, do you remember? Do you remember when you said to me that you look your 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 father is a black and your mother is a black, but you are white? No, my uh, parents are white. My parents come from North Africa. They come. They come from uh, Tunisia. Uh, I don't they know. You, I asked you. You said to me they are black, and then you said to me you are white. No. Okay. Do you is is no, no. is the science no, no, no. okay? Let's, listen, Abdul. Do, can you find me a science? We showed you in the first one. You mentioned to me that this is stupid. Can you find no, me no. any scientist agree that if somebody have orgasm first, the baby will look like the parent? Three hundred sixty joints is true. No, they they are not. It's a fiction. I just yes. showed you. Get you busted. Look at my website. Oh, what website you have? What website? I I send you some. I'll I'll, I'll send you more. Ah, you said me. Well, I just get the answer already. I just search in Google, you know, general. Uh, you know, I, I get, I get the answer. Right? Most scientists say it is three hundred and sixty. No, no, my friend. No, this is not true. Yes. No, no. Yes, it is true. It is true. Well, people, they can search that they will laugh at you anyway.
No, oh, okay, search. Okay, how your prophet? Let us say, let us say, for the sake of argument, your prophet who came with a number which is accurate about the joints of the bones. How your prophet? He says such a stupid thing here. What? What? If your prophet is scientifically accurate and he is the Lord of Boom Boom, how he says such a stupid thing that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will look the father like the father. If the women have orgasm, will baby will look like the mother? What's stupid? But this is stupid, my friend. So he is wrong about the joint, and he is wrong about how the baby is generated. In the Quran, in the Quran, hold on, Abdul, no, Abdul. No. In the Quran, look at your. Do you know what your God is in the Quran? No. Not only your prophet is an idiot; it's your God too. Look what the Quran says about how he made the baby, Mister Joins. Look what the Quran says. The Quran claim that Allah, when He created a human being, He made the blood. He made you from a sperm, and the sperm became a congealed blood. And then, no, not a the blood. Because Allah is a claying leech. Leech? May Allah, yes. may Allah leech you. Should I snap my finger now so Allah can leech you? What are you talking about? What leech? My friend, Allah is leech. What? What leech? Where? Where is the where? Where is the word leech? in that time uh people didn't know that the embryo would actually all the age. all the all the verses in the front of us say clearly that allah he made you from a congeal the blood here we go is that is this your islamic translation or my translation do you see it listen the english translation is made from uh, my friend uh, i do not need english translation i am an arab here we go and now if we, okay. if we, if we, if hold on, hold on, Abdul. Let me don't make me snap my finger. The last time I snapped my finger, your God disappeared. So look at this. Your God not only he says that the sperm will be came into a clot. He said something no. bigger than the poopoo in the in the beginning. He said that after he made you the sperm transform into a congealed blood, and then okay. that clot is going. Hold on, and that clot here. You see the clot. That clot will become a loop, and the Muslim day between between two brackets to fetus. In, in the English, this, in Arabic, doesn't say the word fetus. This is a lie, but they say a loop. We would go with it. A loop, simply a loop. Guys, do you know like when you eat some meat, and then there is like a part of the meat is kind of like like almost the bones. Like as an example, if you are making uh, eat, trying to eat the jo joints between two bones in a in a uh, in an animal like a goat or a sheep or etc. That's what he's talking about. So it's like something you cannot uh, see, you cannot chew. It's not bones yet, but it's you cannot chew. It's like half bones. So here he make you from a clot into loom, and then he made you a bones. No, it's a hold on, it's a hold on, hold on. And no, then and no, then and no. then he cloned the bones, and then he closed like, the bones no, with with the, with the flesh. So your God, know. hold on, Abdul, hold on. May, may Allah, may Allah, may Allah bless you, Abdul. May Allah bless you and give you give you all the shish kebab you wish to have in your life. So let us talk. Let us talk. We cannot talk at the same up. time. Hold on. Shut hold on. Shut hold. up. Okay, I'll be a rude now. Get lost. So the God of Islam, He's saying that in this stage, Allah He make you only bones. But don't call me. No, don't make me block you. Don't make me block you as before. I will give you. You can call me after. You can. I will block you. Don't do that. I'm telling you, I will block you. You can call me after thirty bit from now. There we go. Okay, are you asking for it? What an idiot. Here we go. Block you. Are you happy? You are blocked. We have a Muslim. His name is Morat. Ah, I hope you are not Borat. Answer, Mr. Borat. The Muslim who's calling me liar, why you don't answer? Or maybe you have a bad connection. So according to the Quran, according to Islam, according to the verse in the Quran, this is how we look like when we are babies. And then at the end, Allah will close us with the flesh. Who is the idiot here? So after you are completed as bones, then after that, Allah will clothe you with flesh and skin and nerves and blood. 
who is the donkey here mr. 360 joins hmm Any Abdul would like to call us. This is what the Quran is saying. Here we go. I'm not making things up. This is the Quran saying that he will make you bones and then after that he clothe you with the flesh. After he make you bones, then he at the end he clothe you with the flesh. Do you see it? I'm not making things up. Any Abdul want to say something? I am Allah, worship me. I am the one who knows everything. Ask me. Question there how they make ice cream? It's very simple. You bring a woman, she have big breast and she just gave birth to a baby because that means she have milk and then you put her in the mixer you shake her a lot and then after that you squeeze what is in her breast and that will be called yogurt hello yeah, um, just been looking at that uh, thing about the bones. Mm -hmm. And the very first time I actually do look at the Google, it does say 360. And when I look further, where there is actually a little bit of scientific documents, it says 206. So how come Google is 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 doing all this crap about uh, giving us wrong information? I mean, this is really really staggeringly stupid that. No, it's not. It's not the fault of Google. It's the, it's the Muslims. They fl they they flood the internet with fake articles, yeah. and then Google is just a search engine, and and what whatever you search is going to come in the top according to the search engine. Okay, and the second thing you ended up saying, you know, and I, I've been listening now to you for a while. Hmm. You're ending up saying that uh, you know, like there's no prophecy in, in 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 the Quran, but it looks like there's many many donkeys. So I think they got that one right. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I insult donkeys because uh, I, I've been I've been told by uh, in America you cannot insult donkeys because they have rights and we have to respect them. So I decide not to call donkeys uh, when I speak about Islam because the, uh, the donkey association they send me a letter they say they will sue me if I call them if I call Allah a donkey again. No. Well, I do apologize. You're absolutely correct. Correct. Thanks. <laughs> Take care, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. We have to show respect to the donkeys, please. I mean, come on. We know better. Donkeys are very peaceful and they are smart, actually. I remember actually once we went to a village in the mountains and um, the villager, you know, we are a bunch of teenage, you know, like kids. Uh, we told him, uh, he said, you know, take the donkey with you. We said, why do you want to take the donkey? He said, how do you want to come back? He said, what? He said, if you go in the mountains, you will lose your way. There's no way to know direction how to come back. He said, okay, what the donkey would do? He said, oh, when you want to come back, just let the donkey go and follow him. And this is exactly what we did. You believe it or not, the donkey he took us home. And not only that, he took us in a short, uh, 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 short way. So we say donkeys are stupid. The fact, here we go, we are the human, do not know how to come back. But the donkey, he can take us back. <laughs> Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Uh, somebody says to me, You are misleading that our God, Yahweh, and let me show you this text of this guy. This guy is saying to us that Yahweh and Allah are one God and the same God. Please. Your independent Quranic response will be highly appreciated. My friend, in order to have the one God, at least we should have one heaven, correct? Is that correct, guys? I mean, as simple as that. If we have the one God, we have to, we should have one heaven. 
do the heaven of Yahweh contain uh, virgins and long penis and endless penis and sex and oh, 70 years orgasm I mean this is silly I mean it's very easy secondly in the heaven of Allah you can just watch the video the yesterday and the day before you will see the Muslims agree that they will have sex even with their mother and their daughter and their sister and their grandmother in the heaven of Allah so this is a very lousy satanic heaven and the Muslim believe that in heaven of Allah there is nothing is called morality no more which means everything is a sin in earth is law lawful in the heaven of Allah so when somebody want to say to you that we have the same God he is V certified I don't want to say donkey I, I want to let us say a mule mule it's more safe because donkey mule is not a like he don't have a big tribe to support him you know a mule it's not like he's a like he a mule is a, a relationship a one night stand between a horse and a, and a beautiful sexy female donkey so he is certified a mule same time our problem with the Muslims is not the name of God let us say the Muslim they change the name of their God and they call him Yahweh they call him Jehovah they call him Elohim they call him Jesus still that will not make him God because the God of Islam is a stupid is a fool and he have no ethic so it's a foolish of anyone to say we have the same God anyone he claimed to be Christian and he say to you such a thing leave his church immediately he is teaching from the devil if you ever heard me Christian Prince saying to you that the God of the Christians and the same as the God of Islam that's mean a Christian Prince is a corrupt man you never you should ever never ever listen to him for a second and as you see the God of Islam is a stupid he's not even exist who is a Muslim can prove to me that this God is exist have you ever heard of God he says stupid things like this Right. My friend, our problem with the with the with the madness of Islam is not is not a name. Oh, we have a Muslim here is challenging me. Hold on. I like it when a Muslim he challenges me. I feel like there is fear. I'm scared. Uh, he is not even answering now. I mean, they say debate me, debate me, and then when we call them, they don't answer me. Do we have any Muslim? I am asking the same question who is Allah? Since I was a teenage, and not even a one Muslim, he knows who's Allah. Oh, what they say to me, he's a creator. Creator of what? Even that, even that answer is not is not a good answer. Why? Because the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. So how Allah is the best of the creators, and you say to me, Allah is the creator. And how foolish that Allah is. To say that he is the best of the creators which means he just admitted that he is not the only one creator and here you will notice in the Muslim translation they change the translation and they say that he is the best to create but in fact it is in Arabic Khaliqeen, the best of the creators if you change just the translator suddenly the translation change and this is why I say don't ever trust a Muslim translation they are certified lying machine we just change the translator and bingo suddenly he is the best of the creators did you ask yourself why they are trying to hide it there's a huge difference between the best to create and the best of the creators We repeat our question again. Who is Allah? Rahim, how are you, Rahim? Rahim, what was your name in Skype? Let me call you, Rahim. You want to call me, Rahim? 
What was your name in Skype, my friend? Rahim is a smart Muslim. He is smarter than the rest. And yesterday we got him busted, so he cried. And he went crazy. Aren't you the one we got him busted yesterday, Rahim? You want to try again? Rahim, aren't you the one we got him busted yesterday and the day before? You know, sometimes the Muslim they force me to block them, like the guy he was calling me non-stop because you know we tell them just give me a break, you know, to take other calls, and they keep calling, calling, annoying. So, Rahim, what is your name, my friend? What is your name in Skype? I will call you myself. What's your name, Rahim? Guys, don't call him, donkey. Abdul is the name. I have many Abdul here. That will be in this uh, way to find. I mean, do you know how many Abdul I have in the list? <laughs> I mean, what kind of a name you have, my friend? Abdul? Is it Abdul? Uh, because the guy, I just blocked him. Uh, you are the one who was calling me a second ago, Ab Abdul uh, 113. Are you the one who just I block him, block him? Abdul 113. Are you the same one? By the way, once I was in the Philippines and I was going in the elevator speaking in Arabic, there's a Filipino Muslim. He heard me, so he said to me, Assalamu alaikum, because he thought I'm a Muslim. I speak in Arabic, you know. For them, those idiots, they think anyone who speaks Arabic is a Muslim. So he said to me, Assalamu alaikum, after I finished my call. Uh, I lost connection actually in the elevator. So I said to him, Wa alaikum assalam, Abdul. And then he looked at me, he said, MashaAllah, how you know my name? I was like, what? MashaAllah, he was like, wow, how he knew my name. You should see his eyes, his eyes like coming out. MashaAllah, how you know my name? I said, hey, all of you are Abdul, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> uh, so he said to me, so brother, I'm really happy to meet a Muslim Arab. I said, I'm not an, an I am not an, a Muslim. I am an Arab, but I'm not a Muslim. Do, you, do I look like stupid for you? He said, what? And then we, I took him to the, I, I, I was going upstairs, so we changed our mind. I said, do you want to go and show you some verses and we can talk? So I took him and we sit in a garden close from the building and we start and each time he say there's no way huh where no way huh where no way huh no I mean this Abdul was getting dizzy his eyes like Ooh. and then he said to me I'm going to check it out if this is true I'm going to leave Islam and then after that it took time I saw him second time he was with his wife and she is wearing a burqa you can tell they are crazy uh, you know terrorist terror style so when he saw saw me he with his wife he don't want his wife to know that he spoke to me before so he was like moving his tongue like like don't talk to me now not, not now not now you know what abdul abdul yeah abdul so who is a muslim wanna tell us who is allah who is a muslim wanna tell us who is allah Any Muslim? May they, may they. A Muslim answer is required. Until now, we could not find one Muslim knows what is Allah. You worship unknown God. How funny, how silly. Isn't it weird that you repeat to us, Allah is God, Allah is God. The second we ask you who is Allah, you have no idea. You go in disability. You give us speeches about the amazing Islam, but you do not know anything about your amazing God. That uh, 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 additional to that, He have an amazing, magnificent leg and foot. Shia is the same garbage, you know. Shia, you know, Shia and Sunni are the same. You know, it's like two images for one coin. 
one in the front one in the back both are have the same madness but actually Shia they are more stupid I mean like as an example the Shia belief if you have my books you can go and read the six and six and Allah how many, I don't know how many of you have the, those books uh, you will see the Shia believe if you if you wear uh, black shoes your penis will not function and guys I feel sorry for you if you wear a black shoe it's a proving scientifically that if you are wearing a black shoe your penis will not work and not only that you will lose your sight and this is a proving scientifically and the Shia they tell their followers that you have to wear a yellow shoe because yellow shoe will make your penis powerful and your sight will become so strong this is why Hezbollah they have a they have a yellow flag Hmm? I mean, don't go to the Shia. The Shia it will make you die laughing more, even from the Muslim Sunni. Like we saw, the Muslim Sunni believe that in the heaven of Allah, a Muslim man he is going to be brightened. The Shia know better. Any Abdul? Zero Abdul. So just to make it simple and clear, those Abdul, they are worshiping a God which is unknown. All what they knew that he have a foot, he have a shin, he have two eyes, and he is short, and he have a curly hair, and he have a big ass. Anything else they don't know. My shoe is black. I cannot share that because that you see, I'm trying to find a wife, my friend. If I tell what kind of shoe I'm wearing, then women they will not maybe like to marry me. Hello. I mean, don't do that to me. I think those who they own dating website now they are going to add one section to the profile: the color of your shoe. Hmm? actually I find it very funny by the way that in the heaven of Allah as an example for those who do not know all women all women they will look the same how they will look like anyone remember we just yesterday we showed you the uh, we showed you the picture hold on This is how women in the heaven of Allah they will look like. Let me show you the picture. And I am not exaggerating. If any Muslim he will say I'm lying, I will show you the reference immediately. I challenge any Muslim actually to say to me I'm lying. It's a challenge. But look at those high heels. You know. So imagine you go to a dating profile, all women they have the same look, the same see-through bones. Because Muhammad, he say you see through their marrow of their bones, and they have the same height, they have the same name, they have the same everything. And not only that, surprise, surprise, in the heaven of Allah, even men, they will look the same. All of them, they will be 33 years old, the age of Jesus, and they will have the face of Joseph, because supposedly he was very handsome, and they will be very white, and they will be 30 meter tall. And by the way, some statement they say they will be 90 mile tall, 90 mile, and the women they will be 30 mile tall. Do we have any Muslim here? I sorry guys, I am putting this in the front of you. You might get tempted. Uh, let me tempt you more. Look at this, man. Look at this. Oof. It's not easy to be single these days, and you see those pictures. Man, oh man, that's not life is not fair. No, let me tempt you even more. Look at this. Oh boy, this is going really wild.
Oof. It's getting hot here. I mean, this is somebody up in the windows. Why we are saying this is how women in the Islam uh, religion look like. Let me show you, my friend. We are not making things up. If we go in the statement of Muhammad, he said the following. Do you see it? He described the women in the heaven that they will be so beautiful, so beautiful. I think, should, should I squeeze it more? So beautiful. This is how beautiful they are. And the reason for him to say such a thing that women, you will see the marrow of their bones because Arab people, they like white women. So if you are dark skinned women, sorry, Arab don't like that. So Muhammad, he wants to satisfy the sexual fantasy of his people, the Arab. So he promised them what they like. He promised them women, they are so white to the point they are so beautiful and they are transparent. I mean, is, don't you all of you wish to have a wife? She is transparent. So if she ate the hamburger from your refrigerator, you will know who ate it. Be honest with me. How many of you went to the refrigerator and you found your sandwich is missing and now you do not know who ate it? You ask your wife, she say, it's not me. You ask your son, he say, ask mom, ask mom. Now, nobody can hide the truth. You will see through. And they are so beautiful to the point they are transparent and you will see the marrow of their bones and the, of their legs being seen through the bones and flesh do you see it what do you want more be honest with me this is the dream of every arabian person like me let me close my eyes i park my camel in the parking lot of walmart i go inside walmart oh the first woman is so big i mean why she is so big like this oh the second woman oh man she is even bigger Oh, forget about those those cannot be the version of Allah no way and now we go I see actually I see through like I see even some women they are showing their panties I mean but until now I don't see anyone see through I mean I want to see through I keep going I keep going I don't what is that I mean this is really scary now I better go out I think I went to the wrong heaven Walmart is not the heaven of Allah obviously let us go to a different place I will go to Macy's you go inside Macy's uh, Still in Macy's is not working. Still, I don't see it through anything. Yes, women there, they are not that big there, but still it's not. Let us go to a strapteze club. Oh boy. Strapteze club is getting closer. Mm -hmm. We see through, but not the skin. I mean, we see the skin, but you don't see through inside the skin. I mean, but it's better. We are getting closer. You know, I mean, we are there. Any Muslim? Go to Ross. What Ross? Hmm. Do we have any Muslim here have any kind of uh, explanation to us about what kind of religion you have? Yeah, big mouth speaking about the amazing God. Oh, what we see is garbage. What is this? Are you really believing in this garbage? Hmm? But the good news, you see, yes, Muhammad, he said to them, let us see, let us see different hadith. Hadith in Arabic mean a speech, that, that, that a speech made by Muhammad or his companions. Let us see. <clears throat> You see here, you notice right away, there's a hadith here is not translated <laughs> because it is it is very stupid. So they, have, they, they choose. But look at this hadith. I like this hadith. Brothers and sisters, read carefully, please, with me. The Messenger of Allah, S-A-W. Hmm. 
you know, I tried for a while to understand what this SAW mean. And to be honest with you, I could not come to a conclusion. Uh, but because I'm very smart and I am different, you know, uh, I come uh, uh, that I need to study this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is like uh, Sasuke after wide uh, uh, weighted dream. Uh, Sasuke after weighted dream. Okay, so here here we go. The Prophet Muhammad peace upon him. Uh, uh, S A W uh, F M A M. Uh, you know, he said. The list of the people in paradise in position is the one with 80,000 servant. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. I have a my stomach cannot take this. Uh, 80,000 servant, and all of them they are children's. 80,000? Why? How many sandwiches I would eat a day? 80,000 child who they are naked and they are so white and they would walk around me all day to serve me? 80,000? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, are you sure? <laughs> this is Mr. Bean. Are you sure? There is a video. There's a video made by the guy. By the way, guys, if you like uh, our channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't like it, subscribe too, because Allah will give you a blessing if you subscribe and later unsubscribe. Because in Islam, bad deed can be canceled by good deeds. So look, let me tell you a trick. You make a bad deed by subscribing to me, and then after a month, you unsubscribe, and then Allah will increase your deeds. So maybe in the beginning you lost like five dollars. But then at the end of the month, he will give you 30 because you fixed the bad deeds. What about that? So if you are almost done, please don't forget to subscribe, please. This is a trick. Please don't share it with your friends only in YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. Now, here you will see Muhammad is seducing men. And by the way, the Quran speak about them. He says he he, he described them as a lu'lu'ul maknoon. A lu'lu'ul maknoon, lu -lu, you know, the pearls, the, the white pearls. Who they are inside their shells they are so white and they are so soft why in the world you want to describe for me little children's in such a way and not only that the Quran says they will not even bleed lions if why they will not bleed bleed from what and then Muhammad he continue and by the way all of this is true proven by science you will have the 72 wives this is the lowest remember this is the lowest heaven people which mean this is the bad muslims the, the, the 72 many people think the 72 is the reward for every muslim no this is for the bad muslim who did not do jihad who did not do the killing this is the bad bad this is the lowest 72 wives and 80,000 servant this is for the bad one 72 wives and he shall have a tent of pearl Man. I don't know I don't know how many of you do camping I feel sorry for you there's no way to compare between a tent made from pearl you see Muhammad as a Bedouin man he could not take from his head the word tent so even in heaven we have a tent Da 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 Harry Harry tent Harry Harry Booter Harry tent Harry very bent I mean Muhammad is really this guy is a fiction guy he can he can be the best writer he can write a novel about anything and look look even even the the tent is uh, 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 is is have a cardinal around it have zafaran in the floor the ground and there's diamonds 
I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Um, unbelievable. And the size is the size of the tent. Now, here, here is the problem. I am really upset that Allah He gave me a studio size tent. The size between them, between which means the wall of those tent, is Al Jabiya and Sana'a. Do you know what does that mean? Is more than a thousand and six hundred kilometers. I'm really disappointed that Allah will give me a small studio bedroom. A thousand and six hundred kilometers. So now I have my wife in the end of the tent, and I have to drive uh, a thousand seven hundred kilometer to go there. <laughs> that's a good news. I mean, that's good. That's good. All right. Hmm. And then, my friend, everybody in the heaven, when he go there, he will be thirty years old. All of us will be thirty years old. All of us, all of us, what do you want more? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? What is the Muslims? I, I'm really disappointed. You see, the Muslims, the funny, the Muslims, they say, they make videos, says, we can destroy Christian Prince. We can destroy, he's a liar, but nobody called me to destroy me. I have my Skype open, or what I have, like a bunch of kids who don't even know what they are talking about. And the one who claimed that, that is called Zachary Mag. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum. I told you one billion times, don't call me out in the middle of the night. Uh, Brother Zachary Mag, we have to call you. We have no question. I mean, we have a question. Nobody can answer it except you. I understand. I am sexy, and I know it. And I know that the only one he can answer you is me. But this is not an execute to call me after the middle of the night. This is sexual harassment. But Dr. Zakir Naik, I mean, you are the only scholar Muslims they love and they take his, I mean, your answers into consideration. So we have no choice. Okay, what the question? In there, it says that we will have 80,000 servants and they are little boys. Explain to us. If you go to the heaven and you like to be served, don't you like to have servant? But isn't it the Quran and is it Muhammad? He said that in the heaven, if you see a bird in the sky, you wish he's going to be in the front of you. So what is the need of the servant? There's going to be cooked. And then after you eat, you don't do poopoo -poo and there's no garbage. So what the servant would do? This is a good question. And I'm going to explain to you in a way, no matter what you say, you cannot refute me. You saw a bird in the sky and you wish to have the bird. And the bird now is cooked and you are going to eat it. Aren't you going to use your hands? Uh, use what? Aren't you going to use your hands? Uh, yeah. Here we go. The servant, they will not let you use your hand. They are going to pick up the chicken and they put it in your mouth. Aren't you going to want to chew the mouth? Uh, what? Aren't you going to chew the meat? Like, mm -hmm. yes, I will do. I will chew it. The servant will not let you do that. They will chew it for you first and then they put it in your mouth. You are a stupid and don't call me again. Okay, that's 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 convincing. I mean, I mean, here we go. We have the answer. Thank you, Zakir Naik. Have you ever heard of something absurd more than this? I wonder how. I wonder why. Oh boy. How many of you hate me? Be honest. If we make a vote now, how many Muslims they pray for my death every night before they sleep? What do you think? How many? <laughs> I mean, I look like Allah is not listening. I mean, come on. Do something. Something, not something. Hmm? Once the Muslims in a chat room, they open a big chat room. Actually, hold on, hold on. I went to serve in the army. 
and I came back I was away for some time so the Muslims they opened the chat rooms imagine the same day I came from the army is the same day the Muslims they have a room it's called celebrating the death of Christian Prince so that was in Paltok program I don't know if any of you know it so I went to Paltok and I spoke to the co admin like you know the, 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 the company admins and you said there's some people they are opening a room in my name saying celebrating the death of Christian Prince and look at the edit what he said to me he said to me, are you saying you're alive? <laughs> are you saying you're alive? I said, what? Are you saying you're alive? I said, what do you think? <laughs> I feel sorry for your wife, man. I feel sorry for your wife. Unbelievable. I mean, sometimes I really, really, I take the side of women if you have a husband like that. Anyway, let it go. Let it go. Do we have any Abdul in the bushes? Anyone? Hello? Hmm? So look for how long we are here not a single Muslim knows who is Allah they speak too much they say nothing it is a false religion and there's nothing truthful about this cult they take advantage of you that you don't speak Arabic they take advantage of you that you do not know much but the second they meet someone like me Islam is in trouble and surprisingly by the way most of people who buy my books are Muslims most of the people who read my books are Muslims and they get shocked when they read them because in Islamic countries who dare to question Muhammad and who dare to say the silly stupid religion how silly it is nobody there and actually me myself if I live in the Middle East do you think I will be able to write even a word against Muhammad I will be executed after two seconds Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine and hi I am here and I challenge any Muslim to call me right now and prove me wrong who is the Muslim want to do it Who is a Muslim he is proud about Allah and his religion and he is willing to do it hmm? you see I do what nobody do actually I open my scab for people to call me and that is a big challenge because you don't know what people will say to you the Muslims usually if they want to debate somebody they ask for a debate and they have to make it in a certain terms which means five minutes for you five minutes for me and then we have to know the topic in a, a month in advance which is very silly and that's why I say to you don't ever debate a Muslim in such a way it's a waste of time you go watch debate with Shabir Ali debate with David Wood and uh, hijab it's, it's a waste of time because nobody is debating there it's just he say what he prepared himself to and the other guy he say what he prepared himself to but nobody is debating anyone and the Muslims, they always they take the, the, the function of mockery to try to make fun of you, especially if you are a person who do not speak Arabic and your knowledge about Islam is limited in English text. Because as long as you don't speak in Arabic, obviously, the only thing you know is what is written in front of us in the screen. But everything the Muslim they translate, even the one in the screen in front of us, is not accurate. I never saw any accurate translation for any script or Islamic Arabic script. This is why what we do is very important because we are the missing, let us say, uh, uh, what is missing, what is a weakness in your side of knowledge, we fix it. Because we break the Arabic for you 
and we show you what is really it says there. Now, who is a Muslim is willing to call me and prove me wrong? Anyone? Any two? You can call a friend and call me, by the way. You can call like 10 guys to, to be with you in the same room and then, you know, debate me, no problem. Call a friend, call a scholar, call your mom. Call your daddy. I mean, call whatever you want. Anyone? So we have almost 800 people watching and there's not even one Muslim want to call us. That's... You see, always when I say not a single Muslim or nobody knows who is Allah, the Muslim don't call. Why? Because they don't know. Should I change the title? If I change the title and I make it how to shave under arm, you will see how the Muslims are lined up to answer you. Guys, if you speak Arabic and you watch the Islamic TV, it is the most silly, stupid TV stations ever. A guy is waiting online for 20, 30 minutes and he spent $200 to receive the answer how he can shave his underarm is it halal to use material made in kuffar land a brother it is halal if my wife she color her hair some of it is red and some of it is yellow and some of it is a blue he want an answer from allah those are the questions and the serious answers i remember once when a Muslim woman she called the sheikh and obviously she is a whore she is making fun of them because the way she was talking I mean she's very she is tempting them I wish I have the recording she said assalamu alaikum my sister she told me that each time but she is saying it in a very like a very uh, you know you know sexual way that when I take off my clothes and I get naked in the front of the fish tank the fish they start shaking and the shake is listening and the other guy next to him is listening and they start drinking water and they are sweating and <clears throat> and a sister I I think and oh billah sister that those fish they have a genie and they are looking at your pure beautiful <clears throat> body and sister I advise you not to take your clothes in the front of the fish tank and then she said, but this is the only room I have, what I will do. He said, uh, and he started like stinking now, he's squeezing it like, uh, okay, what about you cover the fish tank with the blanket before you take off your clothes? And millions of people watching this TV. And what is the problem? The fish is shaking when she get naked. And so which means he's saying that those are fish they have a genie and they are masturbating So imagine you can try that by the way in your home If you are a female and you have fish tank do that do that and notice what will happen This is true take off your clothes in the front of the fish tank and you will see how the fish will go crazy Like the fish like she's naked. She is naked Allahu Akbar. Call your friends call your and all the fish They come from like from under the shells from the inside the boxes inside the fish tank and everybody will be lined up in the window of, of of the fish tank and they are like wow look at this man she is taking off her bra allahu akbar look at this look at this and the fish is shaking like and the water is boiling like going crazy and then the sperm will come this is islam this is why there's nations they are in the moon and they are thinking now how to occupy the space and those people they are still thinking about what is halal and what is haram a guy he called the TV he said to them when I was having sex with my wife I was he was sucking her nipples and a drop of milk fell down in his mouth and I have seven or eight kids from her so did she became my sister now now you might be wondering like what this guy is talking about in Islam they believe that if you suckle a woman she became haram 
now the guy he have sex with her 1,000 time and he have many kids from her and now some milk came in his mouth when he was doing you know and now she thinks she became his sister this is the only religion worry about ice cream actually there's a guy he called the TV and he said to them me and my fans say we made a mistake and we do not know if we still can marry each other the guy he said what a mistake you did he said we ate ice cream the same ice cream <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> I will never eat yogurt with my wife if I get married. Hello, <laughs> are you kidding me? This is dangerous, brother. Maybe you don't believe what I'm saying to you. Let me show you. The Muslims they have missing verses in the Quran about breastfeeding for adult. Breastfeeding for adult. Read with me carefully. By the way, the Muslim they say the Quran preserved, but the funny, the goat ate the Quran literally. Aisha, she said, Aisha is the wife, the child wife of Muhammad. She said, the verse of stoning and the breast feeding for an adult ten time revealed. The one who said to me that some they say that we as Muslims, we have the same religion. I mean, if we have the same religion, did your God Yahweh teach you that a woman, she can give her boobs to you and you suck it ten, ten, ten time? And this is a breast feeding for adult? And by the way, women, those women, they don't have milk because women, if, if you think that women, they have milk always in their breast, it's mean you're a fool. Women, they have milk in their breast only when they have a baby. So he's sucking what exactly? And then here it says that this verse is revealed by Allah, the goat, when they were busy, with the death of Muhammad, a time sheep, a time sheep came and ate the Quran. And by the way, until now, this if you go to the FBI page in Saudi Arabia, they have a picture of the goat. It's until now wanted. And by the way, there's a big reward if you can find this goat because obviously this goat is very, very, uh, very dangerous. Keep any holy scriptures away from this goat. The first thing this goat will do will eat your holy book. Especially if it's Quran, because obviously she likes Arabic uh, in, in uh, Arabic uh, writing, you know, it's like delicious, not like Hebrew. And uh, I mean, I feel sorry for you. Arabic writing is very tasty. Now you will see Muhammad, a woman, she came to him. Her name is Sahla bin Suhail. And she said to him, but my husband is upset because he see a man who is in my house and he look at me in a, like in a dirty way. So Muhammad, he said to her, suckle him. Boing, what? Suckle him. The husband is upset because the guy is looking at her in a dirty way and you say to her, suckle him. The woman, she said, after he said to her, suckle him, she said, how I can suckle him and he is a growing man. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is a very open-minded religion, man, brother. Unbelievable. And you said to me, Islam is conservative? My brother, don't allow your wife to shake hands with any man. Don't allow your wife to speak to any man. It is haram. Uh, uh, brother, uh, can my wife give her boobs to a stranger? Absolutely, brother. Because the prophet said you can do so. And this is halal. And look how conservative we are. 
our women they cannot show their face they can show only their breast and their nipples and you can suck them actually I wish I have money if I have money I'm going to open a drive through adult suckling fast food in Las Vegas but sadly nobody want to invest with me in such an amazing idea what we need to do we hire some believers who put their breast in a small window and men they drive through beep beep they put the coins and then the breast that come out and then you start sucking the nipples 10 times 10 times by the way not 10 times in the same time no it have to be in 10 different days which mean you pay one time subscriptions for 10 time and you have to come back 10 time you cannot do it in once you each time you suck until you are satisfied i'm not going to explain to you exactly what does that mean you are adult and you know what i'm talking about isn't it this is amazing but sadly nobody want to invest with me i didn't even spoke to bill gate bill gate he said are you going to, are, are you asking me to open a breast gate i said uh, this is a good idea i spoke to steve job he said to me are you going are you asking me to open suckling job i said this is a good idea this is a religion and we have the same God as some fool they say to you. This is the God of the Jews, and this is the God of the Christian. Anyone who say to you, we have the same God, he is a foolish man, my friend. He is serving the devil. He is speaking of two things, ignorance and deception. Do we have any Muslim want to tell us who is Allah? Guys, be honest. Do you like this channel? How many of you like it? Nobody? Nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Da -da -dum. Nobody. We ask them who is Allah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody knows. Nobody. Okay, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and later unsubscribe. And thank you, by the way, for those who make donation. I wish I can give you a free subscription for a breastfeeding for adults, but I cannot. <laughs> My Lord does not allow it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Any Abdul here? And by the way, our channel is received by people from around the earth because people they are desperate looking for someone who knows and someone who can get how stupid this cult is most of the christians when they debate about islam they lecture us and they preach here we don't do that preaching have a place education have a place and education come first in order people understand our preaching what christians they do they preach first and the last to come is education this is why we go to our churches and then we don't find answers in our churches from any church when you speak about Islam. If your church don't teach you, who's going to teach you? If your priest even he deceive you and he says to you, oh, uh, Islam is Abrahamic, you are right. You see, one of the biggest trick or trap Muhammad he did, he used names which you approve and that is to put the poison in the dish which you like. So I put the name of Abraham there, I put the name of Jesus there, I put the name of Mary there, to make you believe we are the same. But this is a big, big deception. The Messiah, he said, they come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. He will not come to you in a clothes of a wolf. He will say, here we go, we believe in Jesus. We believe in Mary. We believe in Moses. We believe in Aaron. We believe in Abraham. We believe. We have the same God in order to deceive you, my friend. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? 
Any more time? Well, you know, for us as a Christian, yes, we believe we should live in peace with everybody. But sadly, the Muslims don't believe in peace. Now, I'm not saying that every Muslim want to do jihad, but this I'm talking about Islam. Islam as a religion don't believe in peace. The Quran says it clearly. Cry not for peace when you are the uppermost. So a Muslim who is a real believer, he have a duty is not to cry for peace. Unless he is weak. In this case, if he is weak, he is allowed to sign a temporary peace agreement until he is uh, strong. This website is a stupid website. <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, in chapter 47, verse number 35, it says the following. So do not flatter and cry out for peace when you are the uppermost. Do you see it? So a Muslim, he can cry for peace only when he is not the uppermost. Otherwise, he is committing sin. All right. Uh, somebody saying, okay, hold on. Yeah, somebody speaking about Saudi Arabia, and yeah, in Saudi Arabia they control the internet, absolutely. And but I don't know about YouTube if she can, if a person can watch us from Saudi Arabia. I think they can, but mostly I think they use a special. You know, they block certain channels and certain websites, so nobody will read and learn about Islam. Uh, but I think when it's come to YouTube, I think they can still watch YouTube, but maybe they cannot watch the live YouTube. As I know that live YouTube is forbidden in many countries. All right, it is forbidden in many countries, um, and even after it's not live no more, which means it's recorded and posted. Uh, unless somebody copy my video and post it again, then they can watch it. So what they can do, those who cannot watch me from Saudi Arabia uh, live. They can go like there is a channel. It's called the Christian Prince Debate. There's many people. They are copying my videos and they are downloading them and uh, even adding subtitle, so they can watch there. You know? Yeah, we are taking call. Yeah, if they, if if anyone are called, they are welcome to call. But as you see, we don't see anyone. Do you see anyone calling? Nobody. They do not know <clears throat> what to say. I'm calling Abdul, who keep calling me names. Come on, answer. Headache, he will not answer. I want to say thank you for those who they are making donation. We appreciate your help and your support, and uh, we love everybody here. Those who help by donation, those who help by copying the videos, and those who are there just here listening and sharing the video with others. What we do is very important. And the most important thing is to try to teach your children, your youth, because they are a target. 
don't wait until your child come back home and he said to you mom I want to be a Muslim or I became a Muslim that will be a very bad idea because then it might be very late let them get the flu shot before they go and meet with others you don't wait until your son get AIDS to explain to him what AIDS is so many sadly they think okay this is a dangerous religion and we will not tell our children about it and then your children they go to school and they meet some Muslims and the Muslims they say to them things have nothing to do with the truth and then your child became a victim and then what do you do you send an email to Christian Prince can you speak please to my child can you speak my my daughter or somebody he speak to her which you want to be a Muslim my son why you want to do that to yourself why you wait until it's too late you know what I mean I look at the YouTube comment always I look actually but uh, if you mean here the chat here yes uh, but it's sometimes it's very hard to follow I mean I have I don't know how many videos I have if you if you search my name in YouTube you will get scared like thousands and thousands of videos so I uh, there is some uh, some comments they are just repeat of previous questions I ignore them if I find something uh, important I answer it right away what is your church name this is my church my friend I am now in my church there's many people think a church is a bishop and a priest the Lord he said every two of you mention my name I will be between them and here here we do what no church do if you check in the last month how many people accepted Jesus the Messiah as their Lord as Savior you will not believe it I remember once a bishop he said to me what you get of what you are doing and look how how disappointing is he's a bishop he should encourage me he said to me what are you getting from this I said to him you tell me how many people since your life all your life you spend it as a bishop or a priest he's 70 years old or more how many Muslims do you you made them accept the Messiah he said none he said ask me the same question my friend a church is not a building a church is not a bishop many of them they are doing a business many of them they are just there to have a good life nice house nice car free insurance you pay for it and he go he speak to you two hours and he go home maybe you need him for a baptism or a funeral they are doing a job the real priest of God are not those those who they go and do missionaries to bring thousands and millions to Christ not the one who wear a uniform or the one who collect a lot of money and put it in his pocket and he say thank you for coming see you next week church have nothing to do with this the Messiah himself he did not build one the Messiah he made the speeches in the high mountain in the field in the street ask yourself why you priests don't go there for me this is my street and this is my field I have right now almost 800 people listening in life and my mission is to the Muslims and the same time to you so you will not be deceived and we will save them from their deception but the target is one is to know the truth and the truth will set you free I mean to that So don't think that a church is a building or a bishop or a priest. We have a wrong idea of a churches. Go and see how the apostle of the Messiah, what they were doing. They did not wait for people to come to them and to accept Jesus. We have apostles, they went all the way to India. They have. We have ones who went to Africa. We have ones who went... Uh, 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 and they they paid their life. They suffer a lot. They've been killed. They've been crucified. They've been cut in pieces. They've been fed to the animals. Your priest is sitting in his home, safe and nice and cozy, a lot of money. Even he don't even pay tax. 
he preached to you about giving to the poor but he himself he don't think about the poor otherwise why he have a very fancy house These days, people, they apply for a priest as a job. You go to search for a job, you will find there's a job for a priest. Since when a priest is a job? A priest is somebody he devoted his life to Christ. I am not a priest. I am not. Don't take me wrong. But when you say somebody is a priest, it means he is somebody he believed that this is his mission. But most of those who claim the job, they are not doing a mission, they are doing just a job. Hello. Hello. We hear you. Go ahead. Who's with me? Uh I'm a Christian, by the way. All right. Okay. Uh my question is about uh racism in Islam. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but myself. I lost you, my friend. Hello. Yes, what racism in Islam and what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I am black myself, <laughs> okay. and I've seen a lot of black people defending Islam and saying that uh, Islam is the best religion for black people, mm. and you know, change is racist. All right. My question is about. Uh, uh, you know the black friend of Muhammad, I forgot his name, he was a slave, Bilal, Bilal. Yeah. And, you know, most usually like to say that Bilal was, you know, Muhammad's friend and Muhammad, you know, freed him and he had like, you know, special privileges hmm. that all the Muslims have. Can you like debunk that? No problem, my friend. Thank you for calling. I will answer you. Okay, thank you. The biggest lie they say to us that Islam is religion, it's anti-racism. Well, in the Quran, in chapter 3, verse 106, it says, The day faces will be white and faces will be blackened. Some Muslims, they try to fool you. They say, this is this is metaphorical. This is absolutely not. If we go to chapter 27, verse number 82, it's speaking about a beast it's called al jassasa al jassasa is a beast will come from the ground according to islam and is going to have the stick of moses and the ring of cinnamon so this beast will come from the ground and is going to speak and will say quran but this beast have another duty to do We have Sheikh Tala is calling. How are you, Sheikh Tala? Hello. Are you going to shout as usual? Or you will let me talk so we can talk together in the same time? I never shouted in my life. You really? You're the one. You see? Really? You, see? Okay. you see how you see what you're doing? Okay. Let me friend. finish. Okay, here we go. Now, my friend, did you that, hear that's what you did, do? You, did you hear the question for the previous caller about racism in Islam? Yes. Do I Islam heard. do Islam teach that the black color is evil? Hold on, I, I can't I can't hear you good. Do Islam teach that the black color is uh -huh. evil? Yes, go ahead now. Okay. okay. Do Islam teach that the black color is evil color? Never ever. Never ever. Ever never. Black, you mean you mean black people? Yeah. Islam does not teach that. No. Are, uh, no. are you sure? Are you, are you trying to be that? That's if, the you, problem. if you have are many, you my friend, if you have many applications open, please close them, so we can hear you better. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's what I'm trying to do. Hmm. That's what I'm trying to do right now. All right. I got WhatsApp open. I got things open. YouTube. Hmm. So I'm trying to close them. Can you hear me better now? All right, I hear you. Okay. Okay. So you are saying never ever. Uh, did your prophet did your prophet he said kill the black dogs? 
So, why the black doors should be well, killed? What does it have to do with black people? Well, Did he say kill the black people? Well, here we go. He is a black dog. He is a creature. God, he made him black. Why he should be killed? I'm just saying, if he would have had to say that, if he would have had to say hmm. black dogs, hmm. I'm denying that a dark room without no light. Why, why the black dog? Why the black dog specifically is to be killed? Why not the yellow dog? Not the white dog? What's wrong with the black dog? <laughs> Listen to me. I speak six different languages. You hear me? None of them is the language and of Allah. I know. None of them is the language of Allah. Let me, which is funny. Just let hmm. I'm trying to tell you all languages are languages of Allah. Allah said He created all and made us on all tribes and languages. Hmm. Every single language is a language of Allah. Hmm. You don't know that? Hmm. So no, no, that's not true. The language of Allah is Arabic, and you are not saying the truth. And don't change the topic uh, right now. Don't change the topic. We will show you that from the Quran. Now answer me. Yeah. Why the black dog? Make... Why the black dog should be killed, my friend? And no, I don't believe in those hadiths first. You don't believe in the hadith. Okay, what about the Quran? I don't so guys, the only way to, to escape the humiliation, you say I don't believe in the hadith. So are you saying to me you don't believe in Muhammad? I'm telling you, every hadith that mm -hmm. do not make sense according to the Quran. Anything does not make going... sense. Anything does not make sense. So, well, all, all Islam make, so does it make sense? Does it make sense in the Quran that the Quran says to you that you are going to be created from the backbone of your father and the, the ribs of your mother? Does it make sense that Quran saying women, they have a sperm coming from the ribs of the women? Does it make sense that the Quran promised you that women, they have a breast who they are like they are firm and they are strong? Does it make sense that the Quran describe what is inside the vagina of the women? Does it make sense that the Quran says to you, he will give you little boys to serve you and they will not bleed? And you are talking about making sense? Now, don't don't avoid the question. Either you say this no. is a lie, either you say this is a lie, and then you are proving to me that you are not a Muslim, because Muslim, they have to follow the Sunnah and they have to follow Muhammad teaching. So Muhammad, he says, kill the black dogs. Why he said that? Your mic is yours. <clears throat> okay, first of all, I gotta come back. Uh, first of all, you called me. I gotta make this clear to everybody. Hmm. You've been blocking me for three weeks. Hmm. You unblocked me. Hmm. You called me. I wasn't able to answer the phone because hmm. you don't have to call me. You let me unblocked hmm. and I call you. No you problem. Here we go. Me. We gave you opportunity to call. Let us see if you will talk like last time, blah, 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 and you will not let me talk and you will not answer. I block you for a reason because you start calling names and you start going crazy. Now, why Allah uh, Prophet? Why Allah Prophet when I kill the black no, dogs? No, no, no. Why Allah you Prophet when I kill the black dogs? Why Allah? Why Why Allah Prophet when I kill the black dogs? Please go ahead. Go ahead. I I will answer you. You gotta talk. You just go ahead and talk about go ahead. vaginas and sperm being you and wherever you want. And this come is what back. Islam is about. Islam is about talk. vagina. Here we go. Now go ahead. Why Allah Prophet says kill yes. the black dogs? Go ahead. I'm listening. I said, if he would have said that, I don't have a problem with killing black dogs. Okay. If he would have said that, okay. I wouldn't have a problem. Now, okay. let me tell you why you last time you blocked me. Last time you blocked me, you, you said, see, you are the changing the topic now. You are changing the topic. You are trying to make yourself a hero when you are no one. You don't even know how to say your private name correctly. Answer, please. Why you are saying you don't have a problem with killing black dogs? Why a black dog, a poor dog, just because he's a black, he should be killed? Give us the answer. I said, if you would have had said that, I don't know if he said that or not. Yeah. It's a hadith that, that, that was written 380 years after he died. Well, the Quran written 300 years after Muhammad died too. Do you have the Quran? No. You don't have the Quran. No. Nobody have the Quran. I got the Quran. No, you don't have the Quran. It's a big fat lie. Where is the Quran? Now, now you want to go somewhere else. You, know, you are the one the saying dog. that. Now answer me. You're a prophet. Not only he said, not only he said the black dog should be killed. He said the black dog is the devil. They ask him what distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog, from the white the dog. He said the black dog is the devil. Why your prophet think that the black dog is the devil? This guy talk about racism. Can you talk about racism? Why are you talking about black dog? We go, okay, we are showing you that Muhammad, he hid the black color. And now we go to racism. Here we go. This is, this is a hadith from your prophet. He said that the yeah. black people are created to go to hell. Read the hadith with me. Read the hadith no. with me. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Read, gotta, gotta read, read the hadith. No, no, no. Read. You gotta let me talk. You see, read the hadith. Go I'm ahead. Not, 
Let me talk first. No, you read you, the hadith you, you, first. You said to me, you just said to me, what does this have to do with racism? So now I'm showing you racism. Here we go. Your prophet, he, he said also, that Allah created the white from the right shoulder of, uh, shut up. You see, this is why I blocked you. You don't let me talk. I will give you, I will give you the mic. Let me explain the, the question and then you answer, please. Please give me a second. Allah, he said, Allah Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, your God, Allah, he said that he created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he said to them, go to heaven. And he created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam and he said to them, go to hell. Is that racism or not? And the hate in the front of your eyes. Okay, I'm answering you by Islam, uh, by, the, by the Quran. First of all, mm. you did not want to show the hadith saying, Muhammad saying that when he went to to the uh, 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 in paradise, mm. he heard somebody. He heard somebody walking. He is said, it? "He recognized." This is the Quran. He recognized. This is the Quran. Hold, hold, hold. Let, let me finish. You said to me, "You're answering from the Quran." You said to me, "You're answering from the Quran." So show me where in the Quran it says he heard somebody. Go ahead. Uh, now I, I'm telling you a hadith first. Ah, okay. Answer. Hadith first. Ah, okay. I'm telling you a hadith first. Mm. A hadith saying the, the this guy who just called talked about Bilal, right? Mm, okay. Let me Bilal. Mm. Muhammad said mm. that when he went to paradise, Bilal entered okay. paradise before him. Mm. Bilal, was, Bilal was in paradise before him. Mm. Now, from the Quran, mm. Allah saying, The best among you, mm. he never said the white, he never said the black, mm. he never said the Indian, he never mm. said the Japanese, he never said the Chinese. Mm. He said, That's the most righteous. Mm. The best among you people is the most righteous, mm. not the black guy. Mm. And on the last Last sermon of Muhammad. Hmm. He said, "An Arab, an Arab is no better than a black." Is, a is, black is, is no uh, just let, okay? Let, let, just to show you the hypocrisy. The last sermon of Muhammad is it documented in Sahih Hadith? I, I'm just showing you. <laughs> that, so you see, <laughs> when he want, it is, doesn't make sense. And when he want, it doesn't make sense. Now let us go to the Quran. Does the Quran says in the Judgment Day, Allah will make people black and white? Yes or no? If you burn, you become black. No, Chaco no, 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 that's not a question. Does the Quran, does the Quran says, does the Quran says, does the Quran says that in the judgment day, Allah will make people black and white and the good ones are going to be black, white and the bad ones, Allah will make them black. Yes or no? No, he said they burn and become dark black. Chaco is black. My when friend, burn some wood, chapter three, the chapter three, verse number 106, read it for us. Yes, read it. Is Chaco black? Read it, read it, read it. Read it, read, read it, read it, read it. What charcoal? What charcoal? It says that's what do you will be black, black. What charcoal? What where, where you get the watch? Listen, Abdul. Read the Quran. This is Quran. I'm not showing you even the hate now. You just a line yes, guy. Read in the front of your eyes. Does it say that Allah will make all the believers white and all these believers black? Yes or no? Yes, just 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 listen, I'm reading it. Hmm. The day will come. When some faces will be brightened, mm. while other faces will be darkened mm. with misery. Mm. So, uh, bright and light, yes. They saying that dark. We saying that. What's mm. the problem? Why, when the come, why Allah will make you black if you are a disbeliever, and it will make you white if I am a believer? Why? Do, don't we have dark face? What what dark face? Everybody got. Dark. What dark you face? said your face is dark, dark and bright. That, that what you're talking. We're talking about black and white here. We're talking about dark and bright. My friend, it Don't says here. It says here, black and white. There's no dark and there's no bright. This is a big fat lie. Do you want me to get you busted? Say yes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You're a liar. You before you you caught for me and you said Ibn Kathir. So you agree with Ibn Kathir, right? I don't agree with anybody but the word of Allah. Ah, you don't agree with anybody because Ibn Kathir will get you busted. If we go right now, okay, hold on. What is interpretation you like? Give me one. What the interpretation? What the interpretation of your choice you like? So I can show you and get you busted. If you finish, you let me talk. You I am asking you what interpretation you like me to show you so I can get you busted, please. I'm gonna let you, uh, you. You let me talk first. I am asking you. This is this is my turn to talk. You uh, you you spoke already now. I it is my turn to answer you and get you busted. I'm asking you. What is the interpretation for the Quran you approve so I can get you busted? Let me speak. You stupid. That's are it. are you stupid That's or what? True. You just spoke no, already. It's my turn to answer you. I am going to show you that this is not about dark face. This is not about any of what you said. 
This is about Allah will make you black. Have you ever heard of a Jassasa before? Allah said, Have you, you ever heard of a Jassasa before? Right. Abdul, right. have you ever heard of a Jassasa right. before? Do you know what a Jassasa right. is? See how kid you, you are. Do you kid, know man. what a Jassasa is? You see why I, I block you because you are a kid, you are a stupid, you don't have even the courage. Too. My friend, read with me, read with me, read with me. Ajassasa, shut up, shut up. Your God in the Quran, he said, Allah will send the beast. Allah will send the beast. And this beast will have the stick of Musa's. You see, guys? Are you going to let me go? You will go. Are you going to let me go? Yeah, I am reading for you. I'm showing you my reference. Can you shut up for a second? Can you shut up for a second so I can show you my reference? You said this is about dark face, right? I, this is not about dark face. This is about making you black and white. Stop lying. Let me show you the reference. Uh, yeah. Is that fine now, with you? Now, is now. that fine with okay, you? I... Is that fine with you? Here we go. The no, just no, that no, just no. shut up, man. Shut up. I just says unbelievable. Pick my reference. How, how how about you pick my reference? Here in the reference in front of you that this is the chapter 27 verse number 82 in the Quran. This is Quran, you idiot. This is Quran. The Quran, the verse we are talking about is explained in this verse. There is a beast like you will come and will have the stick of Musa and the ring of Solomon, and he will hit you in your face, and he will make a white spot. Read with me. Does it say white spot in the face? Read with me, Abdul. You want find a way to block me again because you got a pressure from those people asking you to unblock. My friend, my, my friend, let me tell you. Let me tell you why I'm black you. Because we are desperately looking for a fool so we can laugh at. This is why you are here. And you prove that to us. I am asking you to talk. Explain to me what is in the screen. I will. Yes. Just, just let me talk first. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. First of all, hmm. I will come back to your question. First of all, you're asking me which, which, which translation I want. I've been telling you one million times the one I want. You never put it, Rashad Khalifa. You never want to put it. Give me Rashad Khalifa. You know. Give me Rashad Khalifa. Yeah. Give me Rashad Khalifa. Go ahead and get it. No, you get it. Give it to me. It's not in the. It's not in the website I'm using. Nobody uses because nobody accepts Rashad Khalifa. And hold on. Give me Rashad Khalifa. Is that Rashad Khalifa the one who deleted the Quran? He said the Quran is corrupt. Okay, my friend, my friend. Okay, hold on, hold on. Rashad Khalifa, give me the interpretation for the Quran of Rashad Khalifa. Go ahead. I said, uh, go ahead, just like you're doing on the other one. My friend, I don't have it. I This guy is not a scholar. He's no one. Give me, give me, give me a link. I will put it on the screen. Give me, go ahead. I just told you. What told me? All, what told me? What you listen, told me, you idiot? What you told me? Who is who is Rashad Khalifa? I, give me Rashad Khalifa. I will put it in the screen and you will read for us so we can love together. Oh, my goodness. Don't say, oh, can my goodness. Say, oh, my Allah, please. Don't say my goodness. This yes. is this is this is not an Islamic word. Say oh my Allah. So now show me your Allah and give me the answer. When the Quran is speak about the beast who will come with the stick of Moses and will make you black and white. Is your God Allah Prophet is lying or he is saying the truth? Did Allah said are you denying those words? I said Allah said that the best among you is not a black guy. He's not a white guy. Did he say in the Quran? Did he say okay? Did he say in the Quran? Did he say in the Quran the best I, the best between you is not a black, not white? Did he say that in the Quran? Yes or no? Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, stupid. Hold on. The the, the story you are quoting for me from Musnad Ahmad. Do you accept Musnad Ahmad? The story, the story, the story. Sh shut up, potato. Oh, oh, now I know. That's how Demi. Stupid donkey. Don't ever call me again. Look what he started talking about. I want Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa, the Muslims, they killed him because he's a false Muslim and he corrupt the Quran. And show me Rashad Khalifa. We'll put it on the screen, you idiot. This guy is like, and you say, guys, the people they put the pressure on me to talk to him. People they call me, they said, please talk to him. He is a. We feel sorry for you. This is why they asked me to let you talk, you idiot. As you see, we let you talk, you never answer. You are a certified mule, not a donkey. The beast will come with the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, and is going to hit the believer, the no believer, and the believer. And the one who is not a believer 
the beast will make him black so we'll come to the believer and is going to knock him within his in his nose and will make a white spot in his face and then the white spot will spread until his face is shining white as a result and there will be no disbeliever left without it making a black spot in his face and then that will spread until his face is a black as a result so yes islam is a racist cult all the good ones you said bilal he went to heaven bilal he will be white before he enter heaven if he will go to heaven you tell me why bilal is not a qualified to go to heaven unless we make him white what kind of religion says you are not allowed to enter heaven with your color as a black? We will have to make you white first. We have to make refurbish for you. So you scream, you shout, you don't want to read because you are in denial and you are a certified donkey. We say to you, why you're a prophet? He said, kill the black dogs. He said, what's the problem with that? The problem, he said it clearly, that the black dog is the devil. This person believes that you have a connection between your color and who you are. They ask Muhammad, what distinguished the black dog from the red dog and the yellow dog? What distinguished them? Oh, Abu Dhar, what feature is in the black dog which is distinguished Distinguish it from the red dog or yellow dog. He said, Oh, son of my brother, I ask messenger of Allah the same as you ask me. And he said, The black dog is the devil. And you are telling me you don't have a problem with that? Muhammad, the order to kill anything is a pure black. And when Muhammad, he made a clear statement. That your God Allah, He created all mankind in two colors. One is black and one is white. The white color is for the good ones, the black color is for the bad ones, according to your faith, Prophet. And not only that, He confirmed that when Allah created the white ones, He created them from the right shoulder of Adam. Read with me carefully. Allah Messenger said Allah created Adam when he had created him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from from it white of spring as if they are were and white ants he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it black of spring as if they were charcoal then he said to those who they had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't mind which means the white ones would go to heaven go to paradise you are you are created for paradise and then he said to those who emitted from the left shoulder which means the black one go to hell and I don't care and you are telling me your religion is not racist If you are calling to shout, but you don't want to read, who need you? And if you say to me, I believe only in a guy, his name is Rashad Khalifa. Obviously, you believe in Rashad Khalifa, but you don't believe in Muhammad. Rashad Khalifa, by the way, he say he is a messenger of Allah. So obviously, you have a new messenger and you don't have Muhammad no more. Rashad Khalifa, he don't say that I'm just a Muslim. He say, I am a messenger of Allah. And you're a prophet. He said, there's no messenger after me. So simply, you are a fake Muslim. Who is a Muslim? Want to explain? So as you see, Allah will not allow you to enter heaven unless you are white, and if you are a black, and because you believe in Muhammad, you will go to heaven. Still, he have to make you white. And not only that, Muhammad he confirmed that black people are evil according to him, which is very stupid and very silly. Actually, Muhammad he made fun of the look of the black people. He made look, he made fun of the black people how they look like. 
he made fun of the look of the face of the black people he made fun of even if the Asian not only the black he made fun of their look Muhammad he considered that the best of mankind is his people this is why the Quran is made only in Arabic the funny this guy he said to me that Allah he all languages belong to him what languages if your Adam when he was born supposed to order say he's created he said Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah is that Arabic for you or this is a Persian if you go in the hadith not only he made fun of the look of the black you will see that his poison extend to make fun of the Asian he say that the Asian people they have a face like if they are hit by a hammer faces like hammer shield this is how the Asian look like for you the last hour would not come until the Muslims fight the Turks and the Turks are Asian don't look at the Turks today they are blonde and etc this is after they invade the Greek and they rape their women so they have a blonde girls now the Turk are pure Asian who has those faces would be like hammered shield what kind of a prophet he described a face in a like this their face is like a hammered shield it's like saying to me they have a flat faces and the truck go over them isn't it this is a racist statement So when we show the Muslim that the Quran says Allah will make faces of black and white they say oh uh, uh, this is darken what darken what darken well, what does that mean there it says here the verse after it will get you busted right away and as those who faces has been whitened do you see guys do you see it whitened Why I need to have a white face to go to heaven and why you want to reward me with the white face? What's wrong with me having a black face and going to heaven? What is missing in my qualification? And when we ask Muslim why you want to kill the black dog, he said, I have no problem with that. No, you have a problem with that because this is, first of all, this is stupid and this is disgusting and this is silly and this is based on super, superstition belief stupid belief same time being a black or white will not make a dog bad or good you have to explain to me what made the black dog an enemy to allah even shaitan he is Ethiopian. Why he is not a white man? Hmm? Let me show you the hadith. I will try to find it for you. Even the story in the Quran about the army who came to destroy the Kaaba, it was an army of an Ethiopian African people. And look how Muhammad he make fun of the look of the black people who are going to destroy the Kaaba. Black people who live in Africa most of them they are poor and because of that they don't have too much meat in their body they have to work hard to survive 
and look how Muhammad described the Ethiopian people and he is claiming that they are the devil and the devil is one of them he is the one who will destroy the Kaaba making fun of his small chunk saying clearly that this is an Ethiopian And you are saying to me, Islam is not racism. Bilal, the one the Muslim, they keep talking about him. The poor guy, he died. Muhammad, he died, and still Bilal is a slave. You promise him to go to heaven. What about you promise him to go free first? <laughs> is that right, guys? Before you promise me heaven, what about you promise me freedom and let me go? Muhammad, he died, and Bilal is coming to Abu Bakr say, Please, if you bought me for the sake for yourself, will keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of Allah, leave me for Allah. How many slaves, African slaves, your prophet he have? As long he is not racist and he is not against you for being a black and he don't care really if you are black or white. Why he own black African slaves? Here we go. Bilal believe in Allah. Let him go. Free him. The guy is desperately looking for a freedom. The best gift to give to a slave is to give him a freedom, not to promise him heaven. So what, I will be free in heaven now, not now, for now I'm a slave. So the shaitan is, the, is a black. Actually, once I was speaking to a Muslim and he said to me, have you ever seen a shaitan, he's white? By the way, even when the Muslim, they speak about white shaitan, there is white shaitan, but they claim that this white shaitan, he cloned the look of Jibreel because Jibreel is white. Which means shaitan is a black, but he cloned the look of a black a white angel to make himself white so he can deceive Muhammad. Angel will never come to Muhammad as a black. And the funny you know, uh, uh, I post this in uh, in Facebook. Facebook, they send me a message saying this is not appropriate, and it is uh, it is considered as a hateful speech. I am the one who is fighting them for believing that the black color is evil, and this the stupid Facebook, they took my post down. The Muslim guy is the one saying to me, "Have you ever seen a black angel?" I said to him, "Have you ever seen a white one?" And the stupid Facebook, they took my post down. And supposedly I am the racist. The poor Bilal, he spent his life calling for prayer because he's a slave, not because he's a master. Because the masters, the white Arab, they are sleeping in their belly and over their belly, and, and they have many wives around them. Do you know that Muhammad, he forbid even his slaves from marrying without permission of their masters? And if you do so, your marriage is not valid, it's adultery. So Bilal, he cannot even have a wife. They speak too much. Trying to fabricate, and the second you put them in the corner, they shout and they scream. If you read with me here, even Muhammad he said in the Quran in chapter 3, verse 110. 
that the best of mankind are the Muslims. So now we have different level of racism. Muslim, they became one nation, and they are the best nation. But what their duty is, the duty is to enslave everybody else. You would be careful. Do you see it? This is Sahir Bukhari explaining the verse 310 saying that the best of you, the best ever for mankind, who are they? The Muslims. Is, is that racism to say we are the best of mankind? When you say I am the best of mankind, what does that mean? And that just because we have we embrace one religion so what Islam teach that by being a Muslim you are superior and this is what racism is about you believe you are superior from someone else just because of something either color or religion or ethnic or whatever so they are superior to the point they allow themselves to bring you as a donkey putting a leech around your neck The best of the people are who? As you bringing them with a chain on their necks till they embrace Islam. So Islam teach Muslims that every human race is animals until they embrace Islam. This is why we are allowed to put the chains around their necks. Do you see it, people? Isn't it clear? They are the best of mankind, but what their duty is, duty is to embrace Islam by bringing you with the chain around your neck. So a Muslim who claim that Islam is not a racist, that's a big fat lie because Islam consider Muslims one nation. Ummah a word mean nation and this is what we see you are the best nation for mankind this translation here the best peoples ever raised for the benefit of mankind when you see the word benefit between two bracket which is a fabrication it doesn't say that on the Quran you wonder surf oh benefit huh that sounds good Maybe Muslims are in competition of doing benefit for us. No, my friend, they are in competition as bringing you as a slave, installing terror in your heart. Terrorism in Islam is a method to scare you and make you accept Islam is not the target. The target is to terrify you and make you say to surrender. Terrorism is not the target. It is a tool. If this is will not prove to us that they are racist to so what racism is about. If I say that we are Christians, we are the best of mankind and the rest are garbage, let us, let us bring them as a slaves. That means I am racist, obviously. But here race for me have different frame. The race here is about we join one God and we are from one race. And the Quran confirmed that if we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran many places confirm that Muslims are one nation. In the translation here, they use the word community, which is false. Let us change the translator. Let us see. You change the translation. Or translator you will find the translation change it's a miraculous way you know let us see you are the best nation ever brought forth to men And you are the one who forbid what is not right. So the Muslims, they have a superior duty over all mankind because they are the only one mature and the only one knows what is right, what's wrong. And because of that, they allow themselves to fight you, to kill you, to enslave you, 
because you are just an animal and actually the Quran says it clearly that we are animals the Quran even says that if you are not a Muslim you are najis which means you are filthy and clean and the Muslim here they, they try to make it look nicer they say indeed any clean the fact in Arabic it says najis najis mean you are more filthy than the sewage How many reference we need to show the evil of this cult and their racism even Allah he make fun of us and he say we are beast and this is why we should be killed surely the worst beast in God's sight are those who are deaf and dumb and do not understand so if you don't believe in Muhammad you are a beast we can shoot at you. Shall we show more? Hmm? The verses is a staggering in the Quran, speaking about how evil we are and why we should be killed. The unbelievers of the people of the book, which mean me and you as a Christians or Jews, and the idolaters shall be in fire of Jahannam therein, dwelling forever. They are the worst of creatures. So Islam is a religion teach that Muslims are the best of a creation, a creation of Allah. And Allah is a stupid God. He created the worst of a creation, and that's us. Do you see it? Sharul Baliya, actually, here by the way, the worst creatures is not is not even correct translation. In Arabic, it says Sharul Baliya. The most evil creatures exist, not the worst, the most evil. All of this just because we don't believe in Muhammad. Everything in the Quran is a stupid, foolish, crazy, and sick. And then you try to shout in order to silence us and say, I know, you do not know. And you cannot answer. The second you see a man saying that the black dog is the devil, you should know immediately that this guy, he have a mental illness and he have a phobia from black color. Do we agree, people? Who in here believe really that if a dog he is black, that will make him evil? Anyone believe in that? If Muhammad is a true prophet, how he come to a such a stupid teaching that the black dog is the devil? When we say the devil, it means he's Satan. How in the world a be you know, like I mean, poor dog is just a dog. And now you are killing you are telling them to kill the black dogs just because they are black you see if the dog he did something wrong any dog he has became dangerous he became sick or something okay kill the dog to save the mankind but you kill the dog just because he is a black Muhammad, he made it clear that you kill everyone is a pure black. What is the guilt he have? Pure black. Aswadun Bahim. Why? Because he said the pure black one is shaitan. And look at the translation, by the way. is not even mentioned the word shaitan. He took it off. Where is the word shaitan? It says, kill every one of them for it is a shaitan. In Arabic, in the front of me, it says shaitan. In English, we don't see it. You see? Those who speak Arabic, it says, in al kalb al aswad al bahimu shaitan. The black dog, pure black dog, is shaitan. 
Why? I challenge any Muslim to tell me why. This is not about dogs. Dogs are creatures like us. And if we judge a creature by his color, this is nothing but demonic, satanic teaching. And by the way, the Muslim not only believe black dogs are shaitan, uh, uh, pure cat, which is black, is shaitan. This is why they believe the, the craw is shaitan too. Any any animal, anything, any creature is a pure black. The second they see him, they say, A'uzu billah, which means I seek refuge by Allah from shaitan. Kill everyone. Which is a black? Do you see it in front of you? Muhammad, in general, he 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 hate dogs, but the black dog, it's it's a must to die. Poor dog, you know, it was a black dog. How how unlucky you are to be a black dog in Islamic countries. Dogs are the best of friends for mankind, but because Muhammad is an evil man and dogs they feel the evil spirit, they have they have a special sensation for evil, uh, 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 you know, uh, energy. So Muhammad he don't like them because they knew he's evil, he is possessed with the devil. So Muhammad, because each time that the, the dogs they see him, they go crazy, he hated the dogs, he want to kill them all. As you see in the screen, where not is the dogs. By the way, he ordered to kill the dogs in the beginning. But then the Arab, they start complaining. We need dogs, man. What are you talking about? We cannot live without them. We are shepherds. We have animals. We don't work in Microsoft and Apple. Dogs at that time is not for entertaining. It's a must. So in the beginning, Muhammad, he ordered to kill all the dogs. And when people, they start complaining, he focus only in the black dog. Because he is the devil. And then when we show them that the Quran make it clear that in the day of judgment Allah will make all believers white and black the believers white and the disbelievers black you tell me if this is not racism this is what If this is not racism this is what I met black people they are 10,000 times better than my own family what have what being a black have to do with being bad or, or 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 disgusting I have a neighbor once I left my garage open by mistake I thought I close it I came back, I found him having a chair in the front of my house for two hours in the cold, sitting to guard my garage. I said to him, why you don't push the bomb, close the garage? He said, I was afraid somebody would say he get in. Since when you are evil because you are of your color or because you are white or because you are black? That's very stupid. That's very stupid and that's very disgusting. If you go and read in the hadith, you will find how many times the Muslim is speaking about how, how white Muhammad is. If they are not racist, why you care? Why nobody speak about Jesus if he was white or black? Why we don't see in the Bible description of Jesus that his hair was etc. and his eyes was etc. Because this is not what we are about. 
if my Lord the Messiah he came to us in a form or in the look of a black man still he is my Lord if he came to me in a form of an Asian person he is my Lord if he is white he is my Lord Muhammad he have to be black, have to be white person and the Muslims they have tons of a story about how white he is he is white and he wear white clothes there's a video on YouTube about the description of the Prophet if you remember the video I wish I can play it for you but Muslims will flag me for copyright the guy was saying a guy he came and he saw the Prophet and he saw the moon and he looked at the Prophet and he looked at the moon and he looked at the Prophet and he looked at the moon and he looked at the Prophet and he looked at the moon and the Prophet was whiter than the moon go watch it Have you ever heard of somebody proud about their prophet that he have white underarm? Do you see it? If they are not a racist cult, why you describe for me? What about you describe for me what how white is his ass? Hmm? Why we need he is a prophet or he is doing the strapteze club? Why it's so important to write that the prophet, even his underarm, even his billy bum. Madness and stupidity. The prophet, he left his hand up, and I saw, I saw how white it is under his arm. Brother, brother, our prophet, not like anyone, his underarm is white. Please write down there so our generation is to come to know that the prophet he have white under arm. And that will make us a better believers. Hmm? Brother, the prophet he have a very white cheek. Isn't it amazing, brother? And I never saw a white cheek like this, brother. Brother, this is amazing, so beautiful. If you people are not racist, why you are describing this whiteness that's mean what is considered in Islam I want you to show me one place where a black person described according to Islam as a beautiful person who want to do that to me we know what Muhammad he said about the black people how they look like raising head huh you're a prophet he said raising head you Muslims and Muhammad and your God making it clear that the beauty color is the beauty is the color of white and the devil color is the black color. We go back to zero. Who is a Muslim when I tell me who is Allah? Until now, we get no answer. Any Muslim? By the way, there's a lot of a beautiful women who they are black and they are really very beautiful. I mean, they can beat 
white women easy in beauty. So since when beauty have to do with color? Same time, we are talking about religion. And religion should not teach that the beauty is about how high you are, how skinny you are, how what you are white or black. God, He created us, all of us. We are His children. In the eyes of God, all of us we are a beauty, and what makes us ugly is what we, what we do, not what how we look like. Maybe a human being he have his own way to des to describe beauty, which sometimes stupid. Like today, they convince women they have to be skinny to the point the woman she is almost dying from hunger, and everybody want to lose weight. You keep losing weight until you lose your mind, and they take you to the hospital and you die in the hospital because you want to lose weight, and you keep taking medication to lose weight, and then you find that you have a liver failure, you have a heart failure. Just because you want to make somebody see you see you beautiful, which is stupid. The one who don't like to see you the way you are, he will leave you as soon as he sees someone else more beautiful. If a man he want to marry you or want to be with you because you have big breasts, tomorrow he will see a cow and he will move to the cow, he will leave you. So what we do, we make a surgery for our breast. And by the way, in case you do not know, Muhammad, his God himself, he did the, that did the improvement surgery. You remember? Do you, do you remember the story? Muhammad in the Quran says that Allah He made a surgery for him to 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 expand his breast. Let's see. Let us see here. I want to show you something, but I don't know if the Muslim will translate. You see, in English, I don't find the word black. It's gone. Oh. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is the one black man among them, the Khawarij. Do you see it, guys? Do you see the hadith? Is it coming to you clear on the screen? Who is the most hateful person? Is a black man. Actually, I'm surprised that the translation did not hide the word black because I was expecting them to hide it. I challenge any Muslim to tell me why he is mentioning in the color. I mean, okay, maybe there's a guy, he's a bad guy. Why he is saying that he is a black man? And by the way, here the word Khawarij, it doesn't say that. There's no, there's no such a thing in between two brackets. That's why it's between two brackets. So the most hateful person to Allah is a black man. Do you see it? Is that racism or this is, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> what they will say now? This is a very disgusting religion, my friend. And to believe in it, you have to be mental. Or you have to be a person who like racism. And you know, there's many people, they are racist. 
but they will find Islam as a very good religion for them. If you are a person who like the KKK, I mean Islam is perfectly fit for you. There we go. This is a satisfying religion for you. Not Christ. You want to be a KKK? Go to Muhammad. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Hadith. They cannot say it's weak. And this is the link. Here we go. Let me post the link for you. So next time, if we mention it, you guys can help me and post the link. Because sometimes it's too many things to remember. Let us see how many people, how many of you will save the link. Any Muslim? Liar? Guys, I, I'm showing it in the screen. He said to me, liar, do you believe it? Isn't it, this is your website? Isn't it, this is your in translation? Is it, isn't it, this your prophet? And I am liar? I mean, you show it to them from their website. They are the one who made the translation. They are the one who, who, who preserved the story. They are the one who print the story. They are the one who collect the story. And then they accuse us to be liars. And even we post the link for them from their Islamic website, and yet you are a liar. They go in denial and madness because they are ashamed of their false prophet. Any Muslim? You can call me if you are a Muslim. If you are not, please don't. Uh, somebody sent me the video of uh, Pastor David Lane and I don't know this gentleman obviously you guys you like him obviously he's a good man but I don't know him if he's good he's good you know may the Lord bless the good ones and support them if he's a good man then support him support all the warriors who speak the truth and defend the truth and the truth will set you free I don't know him, but you know him, so you know I trust your words. And maybe he do not even know me too, you know. But both of us, maybe we are doing the same work, right? Always support. There's no need to ask if it's good to support the good ones. The good ones should be supported immediately. From their fruits, you shall know them, my friend. A person who give it from his day, from his life, from his time. Even he risk his life to speak to defend the truth. He should be supported. This is not a question He is doing your work and my work He is a divider I don't know about that. I trust what people said Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Somebody's asking me. He can ask some questions. It's all right, my friend. Maybe next time. Because today we have more than enough. And as you see, how many hours we are here? Not a single Muslim he dared to answer us about who is Allah. Very simple question. They do not know they are worshiping what? It is a ghost, not a holy ghost. It is unknown God. 
They have no idea who is he, what he do, what he is about, where he is coming from. They are just people following nothing. They brag day and night about worshipping a God, but yet they do not know who is this God. Yeah, Al-Fadi, he contacted me and he said to me, maybe you guys, you can remind me. He said at Saturday, January 19th, he want to do an interview with me and he is welcome. And by the way, we have the apostle, the, the apostate prophet. Uh, he is scheduled to have me in his program too. This coming, I think, Tuesday, right? I think Tuesday. Let us see. The problem I have tons of uh, text each time I open, and the text of the person will disappear. It's hard to find the person. Here we go. Okay, so we are going to be with the uh, with the apostate prophet, but I will still broadcast on my channel too, so you can stay here. Uh, the apostate prophet this coming Tuesday, this is Tuesday at 3 p.m. New York time. Okay. <clears throat> now, to be honest with you, I don't like this kind of uh, like interview. If when I talk about me, I will not really, I will not like it. I talk about Islam, not about me. Me is not important. I am no one. You know, sometimes they ask me like, oh, how, well, why you became doing this and why? I don't like those things because simply there's no, there is no point. You will learn nothing from it. Why? Because I am a person who defend the truth. How I do it? This is how I do it. Where we do it here. Who I am? I am no one. All right. We, you can stay here because we will broadcast in his channel and my channel, so you can watch it here. And if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free to can get my books. As you see here, we don't waste our time speaking and making speeches. Here we share knowledge, true knowledge. We never say something without sponsoring what we say with clear reference. As simple as that. Never. And this is why the Muslims, they fear speaking to us. Uh, somebody is asking me to speak in private. I don't really speak in private and I don't prefer. All right. Because if you have a question for me, ask it in public and let everybody learn. Instead of answering you alone, and you only get the benefit of the answer. First, I don't talk about private matter and private chat because this is not a business of anyone. So if the question about what we do, and this is the only way you can talk to me, anything else I don't accept, then you have to ask it in public. If you cannot call, you can give me the text and I will answer you. You can post in the chat. Don't text me in, in Skype. Post in the chat. Says I have a question. All right, guys. I think we are done for today. I hope we have a good time together. And I really appreciate all of you. Uh, I pray that the Lord, he opened the eyes of many this day, this night, this morning. And I pray that more will come to Christ as many who came to Christ in the last month after watching and listening and learning. Our, our Lord is the good Lord, and there is no other Lord better than His name. And the Lord, He said, a very clear message is not to know people from their color, not from their names, not from their uniform. He said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So love your brother in humanity. He is black, he is white, he is Asian, it doesn't matter. Don't judge people by their color or by their language. Don't judge them because they are poor or rich. 
see the fruits my friend and the fruits is what the Lord he care for don't don't ever fool yourself and believe that somebody can be judged just because he is shorter or someone he is taller or someone is handsome and someone is not handsome that is the foolishness of mankind even these days people get married just because of a look and then they get screwed later because they found what they looking for is not there the beauty disappeared after the first day became normal they are used to it it is 1000 times better to marry someone maybe people don't think he or she don't look good from marrying someone look good but he's evil the look is deceiving the fruit is what we care for so you choose in your life you follow whom I follow the Messiah for he is the God of the good fruits not the God of lust of madness and lying and corruption one word one sentence from Christ is enough for me to guide me in my lifetime from their fruits you shall know them and they will see you soon again May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.